What's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Staffy TV. And big up to everyone who's joining us. Big up Hassan for the raid. And big up to everyone who's been waiting. Except for Skullux, who's being very impatient. Only being seven minutes late and he's complaining. Let me fix the order. What is going on with this order? That's not order that I wanted. Let's do this. Let's do that. Now let's do this. Wait, you guys are the away team. Let's switch you guys around. That's better. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Hold that, Skullux. But big up to everyone who's here. As I said, smash a like. On the video, subscribe if you're new. And apologies for having to cancel the show yesterday. Uh, there was a bit of incompetence from this, uh, the people that were supposed to be on the channel. They showed up over 30 minutes late. It wasn't going to work out. So I was like, you know what? Let me do it a day later. And it actually worked out better because now I have more guests than what I was supposed to have yesterday. Because Vader was booked up. Yes, that's Vader up here. You guys, you guys know he loves a grand entrance. Oh, oh no. Is that his grand entrance? It's not American Waffle, bro. You don't need to do this. Dude, he did this last night, too. <laughs> what up? It's not American <laughs> Waffle. You don't need to do this. <laughs> Vader is here, and Igao is here. Igao was not booked yesterday, so thankfully, you, you don't work that better, because now we got Igao. We also got Patrick, and we got my other American Waffle brother from, from every Monday night, TJ. So big up to all the guys. Thank you for joining us on a late notice. Uh, Vader, thank you for joining us a day later uh, than scheduled. But, you know, we made it happen. Uh, apologies. You know, it wasn't my fault. Hey, you know what? It's all good, man. It's all good. I'm here for you. R no rain, sleet, snow, shine. Is that how it goes? Let, let me just let me just ask what happened yesterday. Family? Ramadan? Oh, not me. Just the people didn't show up. <laughs> I was here. <laughs> it wasn't me. Was I'm here. always here. I was bro. here. Vader was here. Vader was the only one that was here. So... I had to reschedule, but it worked out, bro. Because now we got instead of one Canadian, there's two Canadians. You know, I got you, uh, your kryptonite Vader. I got you, Egal, and obviously Patrick. It's always lovely to for you to join us, and you know, TJ's always here. You know, it's just like it's not Monday anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, TJ's day. here. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's okay. He's here. He's TJ, fine. you know this is, TJ, this is pretty much you your second Kansas? channel now. Part of the furniture. What? Are you in Kansas or you're in Pennsylvania? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in Missouri. I'm like on. I'm on the state line. Okay, because I see the KC hat. I'm like, okay. Yep. yep. I'm a Jayhawks fan, by the way. Big up, yeah. No, my my uh, my wife graduated from Mizzou, so I gotta I gotta support Mizzou. Otherwise, the in laws don't like you. Know how it is. Fair enough. <laughs> Anyways, big up the guys. Uh, and as I said, make sure everyone is smashing a like on the video. I'm gonna add all their channels to the description right now. Make sure you sub to all of them. And guys, I'm actually happy that not only did it work out in our favor that we got more guests a day later. And actually, more news to talk about because there was a lot of uncertainties yesterday that we were going to talk about. Obviously, the Man City guys, I was going to have them talk about their potential injuries. But it worked out in our favor because today, two of them were confirmed. No Walker, no Stones. The rest of the guys have trained. So now we have a little bit more clarity when we speak on the matter. And I'm going to go to the City guys first. Patrick or Vader, whoever wants to go first in no order. I mean, if Patrick wants to speak, he told me he was yeah. having a snack. That's why I didn't want to address it. No, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. It's just that I have got certain times I have to, I have to eat now. So anyway. Um, I know you're good, bro. You're good. Look, look. Let when, me ask. When, I, I, I was going to ask you a question that does, uh, the, 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 before you go ahead. The, the, obviously, the injuries are confirmed now. Walker's out. Stones is out. What does that do to your confidence going into the game tomorrow? Uh, or my Sunday, I should say. My confidence is very strong because we are home. And uh, also, the fact that Akanji is the one I was worried about because, look, we spoke about this with Igao on HH's channel. We said that um, we all both agree, Arsenal fans and City fans, that uh, Walker hasn't been it this season, you know, hasn't done so well to the standards he does. No, it's tell that to Vader. Tell that to Vader. He doesn't trust that. He's yeah, crazy. so look, Vader has got his own points anyway. So he's been cooked a lot of times. So for me, to be honest with you, Staffy, when I saw that oh, Akanji was injured, I started sweating because I wanted Akanji in this game. Believe it or not, of Walker. I can't and then, available, find, no? Yeah, he's available. Yeah, he's been training. Mm -hmm. I think he did the he did the Saka, Saka and Gabriel one where you fake your injuries. You know, the thing that's been happening recently yeah. with most yeah. clubs, uh, including yeah. United, a few a uh, few players too. So anyway, having a kanji in this game gives me confidence for the back line because it's gonna be a kanji Diaz, Josko, and Ake. Ake, who was pocketed saka multiple times so i'm very confident with that so you see john stones is very nice because obviously he gets into that midfield and helps but overall 
Kovacic has actually stepped up and he's been stepping up in a lot of games. When he's been brought back in, our midfield becomes more stable. So I don't think we need, need a John Stones. And looking at the fact, Staffy, that if you look at the pictures of De Bruyne, I told these guys he looks fit, slimmer and hungry. And he's been playing a few games with under-23s, him and Jack Grace, just to keep fit as the other guys were away. So I'm looking good. I'm, I'm very confident. And it's at home. Nobody slaps us in the mouth at home like that. Do you know what I mean? I hear that. But what, what you're saying Vader has a different opinion. I'm not yeah. surprised I'll tell you that. So if Vader comes in with a different narrative, I mean, T, me and nah. TJ, we already tell you, we work with him closely. This guy always has something, you know, up his sleeve. So what are Listen, we saying? It's not, about, it's not about having anything up my sleeve, all right? There's nothing up my sleeve. It's all about how I see the game. And I don't come through with narratives. That's not me. I look at it and I assess and then I come through. Walker has been selected by Pep for a reason. I don't know better than Pep. I disagree with Pep at times, but I don't know better than him. When he chooses to play Walker is where I really have a problem. And every City fan will say that. Doubting what Walker can do, it's never really been the issue. How he's been implemented, how he's been used, it's like, damn, why are you having Walker pushed so far up? We know he doesn't give a good cross. Why do you have Walker so advanced or inverted? He doesn't, he doesn't show that comp composure on the ball. But when it comes down to defending, I'm going to pick him every damn day. And I listen, when you guys want to kind of point out and say, you know, Walker's had a poor season to his standards, okay, cool. But however he's been, poor or not, when it's about dealing with a proper left-threatening left wing. Who's him or Akanji? Versatility, Akanji can play all across that back line. But if I'm, you're going to choose, if you're going to ask me on, a, on a, any given day in terms of right back against – the best in the world, I'm choosing Walker. No, He's no, no. earned that. Simply defending. Who's the better defender? We're talking positionally. At right back, Walker is the better defender. At right back. But defensively, Akanji was signed last season, didn't even touch a pitch in terms of training ground. Pep played him in Champions League. So he he's nice like that. I don't take anything away from him. Pep has been, quote-unquote, forcing him to play the inverted role like John Stones. Patrick will admit, sometimes we've been like, Akanji can't do that. Why? Do but Pep sees a vision for him. And he's played, he's played right back, he's played center back, and he's played left back. That's how great Akanji's been. But in terms of a right back, Martinelli healthy, because I'm not believing all the rumors, Martinelli, he Martinelli he healthy, I want Walker. He's not available. Am I going to make an excuse regardless of the result? No. Am I going to come on here and brag heavily having won the game without Walker? No. I'm expected to win. I've been favorites ever since Pep's joined this league. That doesn't change anything. But I would prefer to have Stones and Walker. That's that's just how I move. Let me let me uh, let me throw this question to TJ. Obviously, um, he's the opposition. So TJ, look at looking at it from the Arsenal perspective. Obviously, it's the right back position we're talking about right now. I think we can all agree that Stones is a miss. I don't think anyone can talk about Stones saying, oh, this, oh, that. He's not in Walker's situation where he hasn't been decent this season. Would yeah. you rather have your left winger go on against Walker or Akanji? And depending on what game you think you're going to play. Big up Lee in the chat. Yeah, big up Lee in the chat. I see you, my brother. Um, I, it's a real lead, though. So I, can, I, it I mean, it, it, really, it really depends on who's, on who's lining up at left back for us. Or at left wing for us, really. I mean, it, I don't expect Martinelli to be available for this game. He hasn't played since Sheffield United, so I would expect Trossard to go in there. Um, so if you're if you're talking about a purely defensive, you know, man on man, I would want to see Trossard against Kanji. I think Trossard wins that if if Trossard is lining up at the left. Um, but you know, just in terms of pace. I think we can all agree that Kyle Walker doesn't have the pace that he used to, that he used to have. And Martinelli can absolutely cook down that left side. I'm not saying that he's the most technical he's been, he's, he's really been really, really heads down has been ran out of the, ran out of the goal line um, plenty of times this season. So, you know, it, it really does depend on, on who starts at left wing for us. I know that's a really non answer, but I mean, if we're, if we're going to talk sure. man on man, if we're gonna talk man on man, let's talk man on man. So you would you would expect um a kanji to to line up in that position tomorrow. I think Tro I think Trossard absolutely schools him, to be honest with you. I have not been 
impressed with Akanji. I mean, you saw you saw what he did in the Champions League final. Did you say school season. schools him? No. schools Akanji. I didn't say I didn't say schools Akanji. I says we he, he I think he has an advantage over him. I think he I think he would do better than him, honestly. So, Bro, I, so I, I, look, look if you're talking about if you're talking to be about be fair, you did say TJ. You fine. I'll say I'll I'll stick with it then. Schools. I I don't. I don't rate Akanji as high as I rate Walker. That's just a fact. I th I think I think you're wrong, TJ. Kyle Walker is dog okay. shit this season. Kyle well, no, I, I I I I I'm not disagreeing with that either. But I mean, if you're talking about who's going to step up for the game at Gala, I think it would be more it'd be more Walker. Have Fair you enough. seen? I can I ask you something? Let me, I'm, I'm, I'm asking my question. Have you seen? Uh, sorry, guy. I just want to ask my question. Have you watched Akanji? Do you know Akanji stopped Rashford? Right. Rashford was thrown go. I can't just chase Rashford's him down. Shit. Rashford has been shit this season. No, so. no, I'm not talking about that's this season. Not that's season not a brag. Cooking. No, that's not this brag. season. I'm Lucky talking about the season that's cooking last season. No, no, no. Bro, no, when no. he said Rashford, I was like, bro, why would you be doing no, 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 no. that? Choose, <laughs> choose, choose another fighter. No, 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 no. Choose another good, fighter. Look, let me let me explain the contest. There was the season that Rashford. Better left you by yourself. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Look, the other season when Rashford was cooking, and I remember we were missing Walker, and then. I was like, oh my God, Rashford is going to go at him. And Rashford went at him. I was surprised to see Akanji catch up to Rashford, take him down, take the ball from him comfortably. I'm just saying, you're sleeping on Akanji. Trust me, why do, do you think some City fans are giddy about Akanji being the one actually being a right back? It's just that's that because this is the thing. Walker's hasn't been good. You, you, you're looking to see anybody else in that position at this point. Okay. Okay, but I we're mean, not looking I mean, to see Rico Lewis. We didn't but, want to but, see but Rico let's, Lewis. But but like like if you're if you're gonna use an example of your players, um, you know, I'll use my own words, schooling somebody, then I would choose somebody other than Marcus Rashford, respectfully. I don't know Rashford last season. So, I could have used him as an example. He was nice. When Patrick yeah. mentioned him, I'll tell you why Patrick mentioned him. I think I I understand why he mentioned Rashford specifically. Rashford doesn't need to be good or bad to acknowledge that he has pace. What Patrick's trying to do, he's like he's trying to bring up an instance where Rashford, who is the paciest player at United, arguably the fastest player, going at Akanji. Akanji had the recovery pace and won the ball off him. He's just trying to say that this whole narrative that Kyle Walker not being there and he's he's a he's a fast right back for us and Akanji coming in and he's much slower is not really true because if Akanji could do it against Rashford, he could arguably do it against Trossard or Whoever's gonna play tomorrow. Well, so Trussard, I get nobody, nobody's saying. rating trust. Nobody's rating trust hard for his speed. No, no I'm just saying. Thing, no. I'm just saying. Like he's not worried about the pace aspect of his, of his defending tomorrow or on Sunday. I should say. I don't know why I keep saying tomorrow. Uh, because I'm, he trusts I'm him more based on what he's seen before. I would be more confident against Kyle Walker because I've seen him make howlers this season. Akanji's been their best defender, so I disagree with TJ there. TJ, if if they said the same thing about us, if we had if we had KVR, if we had KVR starting over over or now that we have KVR starting over Zinchenko, wouldn't you correct them and tell them KVR is a better defender? Oh but yeah, one hundred percent. But that but but Zinchenko brings something different. I mean, comparing those two, comparing those two defensively is comparing like you're comparing apples and oranges at that point. Yeah, yeah but, but I agree with what you're game. saying. I'll take the correction. That's fine. I'll take the correction. I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and say I I haven't watched a ton of Man City this season, but I'm I'm completely confident. Thank you for admitting going that. Up against it's good you've no, that's fine. That that's fine. I have, no, I have no I have no ego. I have no I have no ego here. DJ, you I, didn't I, need I, to I, tell I, us. We could tell by your takes. It's okay. What? <laughs> no. We could tell by your takes. You didn't watch a lot of Man City. Okay. Uh, uh, that's so nice. Oh, geez. Then, uh, let me tell you something, something. I do think TJ is a little bit doing a little bit of an injustice to Akanji because I think he's he's very underrated in that back line. When you look yes. at all the money spent around Stones and Diaz and Gavardio and them, the two that usually don't get enough praise and they've been the cheapest is Akanji and Ake. And how good have they been since they went to that team? You know, and they're playing them mainly as fullbacks and their center backs. You know, City's the only team that plays four four center backs. And they get away with it. But let me tell you why I disagree with you, Miguel. I understand that Walker has been bad. I do agree with that. I do acknowledge that. We've seen what Diaz did against them. But then I thought about it. I don't think you should be wanting Trussard to play tomorrow. And I'll tell you that, TJ, because you're, you're saying, oh, you, you probably want Trussard to start because he's going to go at Akanji. I think when you go at a matchup like that, it's more of a 50-50 because it's one good attacker mm -hmm. versus one good defender. On the right. day, I don't know who's going to be the better the better guy. I do trust. I just, 
that if Martinelli plays and that's the back four that they have without Walker, you can 100%, 100% hit him on the counter. Because that back line cannot defend the transition. And we've seen it in so many instances. Yeah, you need Kyle fine. Walker, even a shit Kyle Walker, you still need him in a game like this. Because if yeah. Martinelli plays, it's peak for you. Yeah, no, I mean, and that's why I'm, I would be, especially since we haven't seen um, Martinelli in so long, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be against Trossard starting tomorrow. I wouldn't, he's a very, very good technical footballer responsible with the ball. Why? And then, you know, if you need an, an impact, somebody to make, to make some speed down that left wing, then, then sub them out 60 to 70 of minute, depending on where you're at in the game. I, I, I just think like, don't underrate Trossard. Like underrate Trossard at no, your no, own. I rate Trossard highly. Side. Listen, no, I, I think last year, here. yeah, what last year when you guys signed Trossard for about twenty million, bro, this desk that I'm sitting at, I almost broke it, bro, because I was so pissed <laughs> that last season we needed to sign someone in January and we went and signed Sabitzer and 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 uh, and Veghorst and didn't sign Trossard for twenty million. I was livid, 20... bro. I was absolutely livid. Trossard was seen as a backup. Uh, option to Mudrick and honestly he's been amazing but I'm not even worried about Trossard and everything else I think the battle in the midfield is where everything's won who's I do want to talk about the midfield yeah let's, let's City, actually transition let's segue City, into that yeah. yeah I was literally about to say that who's City's midfield because in my opinion if they go with if they go with Foden in midfield who's going to be their left wing yeah is no, it gonna be? Uh, we're, we're, I think we're going to go I think we're going to go with Kovacic, Rodri and De Bruyne Hey, I, I, we can take advantage of Kovacic. Yeah, but we can also take advantage of Jorginho. The thing is, you're right. You're right. Both teams have weaknesses in, in, in the midfield to a certain degree, but I think Kovacic this season has been terrible for you guys. No. We haven't, have you been watching City? No. He was only terrible against Arsenal, but overall, he's been good. He's been very good. And do you know what? When I say, what's, when what I say terrible, that? I'm comparing him to his standard at Chelsea. At Chelsea, he was 7 or 8 out of 10 every game. Nah. At, City, at City, maybe it's because it's taking him time to adjust, but he well, has been great. Been, he has he's not been, been anywhere near that level. No, he's, he's been great, man. And he's he's the one who settled the midfield, believe it or not. He settled it down. And against okay. Liverpool, when he came on, he settled down the midfield also. Okay, Peter, so you're saying... Are you guys watching us? Are you guys watching you us? Think, you, think Kovacic, <laughs> you think Kovacic has improved that much? Um, oh, Vader, please. Can you please... Yeah, yeah let, me, let, me, let me direct the, Yeah, let me direct this question to Vader. Vader, you're, you're, you're listening to, to Igal saying... Kofis hasn't been really at the levels this season. Patrick disagrees. What are you saying? Is is Gal not watching enough Kofis or, or what's going on here? Yeah. You know what? Apologies to TJ and Egal, but TJ did admit that he does hasn't watched much City. Egal, I don't know what he's gonna what he's gonna say. But if I you've been watching the City, but I'm still thinking about Kofis early in the season. If you're telling me Kofis has been massively improving, I'm not looking at individual players and pinpointing how things I'm watching the game, but I'm not watching Kovacic for 90 minutes. Yeah, okay. No, that's that's all that's all fine. But Kovacic, when he played you guys, and a lot of you were, you know, cussing him out for how he played, should have been sent off. A lot of you guys were trying to say he should have gotten a second yellow, all that stuff. Since then, he's been very good for us. Since then, he's been very consistent. And even with how Pep has used him, it's been a lot more sound in terms of him and Rodri as a partnership. And that's why a lot of City fans are saying, you know what, in a midfield, We'd like to see that. We don't want to have to see Rodri be the sole one to have to cover next that midfield. Alvarez. No, we don't want to see him next to Alvarez again, no. Next to Alvarez, or we don't even want to see him to have to be the, the, the one to actually regulate defensively. But in a partnership between him and Kova, and them maybe taking, taking turns on how they divide that pitch, occasionally each of them going up at times in attack, I think that's a better role for, for him. And obviously with KDB, it's a no-brainer. We need KDB in that midfield. Now, could Pep switch that completely up? <laughs> yes, he could. Pep could even choose, you know what, maybe I don't start Kovacic. Maybe I keep him as an option. Maybe I keep him as an option to bring on with fresh legs. Maybe I bring him on with different instructions on how I want to attack Arsenal. And we start with maybe a Bernardo Silva, KDB, and Rodri, which, which at times was a midfield that we could almost set our clock to with what Pep would do. Yeah. But... We'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. I'm not mad with Kova. I think that actually gives us the defensive stability. Now, the question is, defensively, is Arsenal going to be pressing? Is Arsenal going to be playing with a high line? They showed a lot of respect when we went to the Emirates. 
Arsenal showed City a lot of respect, and that was without a Rodri, and that was without a KDB. So if, if they're going to play a similar midline, I think we get some joy with the midfield that Patrick just described, and we can talk about the advantages back and forth. But I'm... Wait, I'm, can you say that again, Vader? You you said you'll find joy if Arsenal set up what way? I think if Arsenal don't look to press us, if they look to play kind of like a mid block, not as not as not as advanced. Because again, if you go back to the Emirates game, even without we're, a run, we're gonna press you no matter what. Okay, but I you actually did, disagree. But you didn't me, press us like we're that. Not, at we're not. I don't think we're sitting. We can't afford. We're to not sitting back. back. We're not sitting. We're back. Not no, no, no. But back. you got. You don't have to sit back. Okay. Let me let me clarify this. There's not gonna pressing. be a trigger. There's gonna be a trigger to the press. Okay, Gal. So let me remind you of a game, the Liverpool game. You guys, that game didn't press, but you also didn't sit back. What you did yeah. is you sat at the halfway line, you waited for them. I remember watching I, and I was timing it myself. I was like, let me see how long it takes them to press. They would press after 10 to 15 seconds, after a, a sequence of non nonsense passes between the back line and McAllister, whatever leads them to nothing, and then you guys press them. I think you guys do something similar, and I'll tell you why. I don't why? think you can afford to press City like that. And that's not a disrespect on your pressing, but that's a praise to how good their buildup is. And I don't think you guys pressed them like that in the first game. Maybe I don't remember the game that well. Maybe I need to go back and watch it. But I don't recall you guys being that reckless and pressing them high up the pitch. You guys set up respectfully a little bit somewhere in the middle where you were able to play your game, but you gave yourself about 10, 15 yards of safety because you're not treating them like a like a, a a lower side team that don't have technical ability to build up. You know what I'm saying? But um TJ, do you agree with the gal? Do you think you're going to press them or how do you think your manager tries to set up? I think so I I, I just know that there are going to be phases of the game. We're going to set up with the double pivot six again um with with uh Havertz with Havertz at the top, double pivot Jorginho and Rice. Like this is that that's what's going to happen and 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 to the to the eye you you'd say oh man that might be a little bit that might be a little bit negative offensively, but I think this game is going to go in phases. We're going to right right off the bat everybody's going to everybody's going to press each other and then everybody's going to kind of take their take their 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 foot off the gas until about halftime and then whoever i think whoever scores at after halftime wins first i don't i don't i'm not expecting any goals if there are no goals scored in the first 15 minutes then there aren't going to be any goals until about the 50th or 60th minute they these guys are going to be way too confident or, or way too careful around each other if they don't score in the first 15 minutes so i think that's we're we're going to press it's going to be wild for the first 15 minutes until everybody gets settled into the game. And then um, there may be some sit back. Everybody might be a little um, tentative around each other. Do you think that'll but be I, I don't think to answer your question. I don't think I think we're going to press. Wait, we wait, can't afford ask, to not. Let me ask you before I forget. Is it going to be you guys or is it going to be one of those situations where you see where we went to them and you guys started dominating? You are the ones on top. Or do you think it's going to be City dominating you because we are home? Then you guys have to ride that wave or you guys are like, you know what? We are the ones who are gonna go guns hole just in the first minutes. Or you're gonna be nervous because I have a feeling I don't think, you I don't might think, be nervous. I, I don't think I don't think we're gonna be nervous. I mean, we we haven't lost a game in the year 2024. Like it, it I think the confidence is very very high, which is well, why you wouldn't I, keep I, scared. I like the last time you were on the ATS was a long time ago. What? Well, we, well the last oh. time we beat you was a long time ago, and we beat you this year. So no. based on your logic, at the, at the Etihad, I don't, the think, Etihad, the I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna be intimidated by the atmosphere at all. Like I, don't I, I really City don't. City have that fear factor, TJ. Do you do you do you fear City? I don't. I don't. Fear these fear, I don't. I don't think. I don't think the stadium comes into it at all. I don't think this. Oh, it has. Is as big as, 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 as big everybody is back. Gas buying. That's Liverpool gassing it up to be. As, I as think that, what scares me. What scares me about City are the quality of the players and the manager. Not necessarily, not necessarily the the home crowd. It's Guys, still Man City. The, the reality of the situation is this City team has gotten weaker. They constantly okay. talk about last year the treble winning side. It's not the same animal. You guys are okay. the same team by name, and we're the same team by name. We're the same team that bottled it last year, and you guys want to keep bringing that up. And you're the same team that won the treble. Yes, but it's two different shells. You have a team right now that is that is completely transformed, and you have a City team that is rejigging re. Uh, as you said, tinkering throughout the season, you have players who you don't necessarily have faith in. For example, uh, what do you call it, Mateus Nunes? You have, you have, what do you call it? What's the winger's name? Uh, Doku. Doku. Who still hasn't really hit hit the ground running we, we yet. We have faith in Doku. We have and, faith in Doku. 
Okay. And then when it comes to and when it comes to Arsenal, I think we have a better defense than you. I think our midfield, obviously, we don't have the likes of Kevin De Bruyne and, and and what do you call it, Rodri, who've been there, done that. But with Declan Rice, Jorge, uh, Jorginho, and Odegaard, I'm very confident. And the only thing that you guys can say you have over us is the fact that you have that monster in in, in Erling Haaland up top. That is a difference maker in every game. But guess what? In the last two games we played you guys, we've kept him quiet. I'm not looking at you guys and I'm not saying to you guys that you guys are not a threat to win this league and you guys are not a threat to beat us. But I'm simply saying I'm not going into this game the same fear and the same worry that I would have over the last five years. I don't have Rob holding in my defense. I don't have a I don't have a team that I'm looking Thanks. at that I'm looking at as a superior. I'm looking at you guys as a peer at this point. Even though we mm. haven't beaten you guys away from home, I'm honestly looking at you guys as a peer, and I see this game as a 50-50. If you guys view this as a game where you guys are the favorites and you guys are expected to blow us out as you guys were in the past, that is utter ridiculousness. Because there's people out here who still are predicting that our City are going to blow us out. I'm mm. simply saying we are now peers. We have not won anything to warrant that respect yet. But at this moment in time, these players put themselves on that same level. I, I think, Peter, let, I think me, it, let, sorry, let, let me ask you guys this. Big up Lee saying they're one uh, one point worse off than last season. One loss in the last 32 games in all comps since we beat them six months ago. We're eight points worse off, by the way. I mean, Vader and, and Patrick, you guys agree with what you guys said there? Because he's saying you guys are not the same you? city. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Lee, I get the point that City are a great team. And yeah. I don't even know. I, I can't even fact check you on those numbers. But regardless, we are a better team than we were last year. And we should be able to compete with these guys over the 90 minutes with Saliba in the back line. You can acknowledge last year we had Rob Holding in that back line when we went to Etihad. And they just targeted him. So it's a completely different ball game. Anyways. But wasn't Saliba there away? Uh, the 3-1. The 3-1 Saliba was there. 3-1 away. At, at, at our house? Yeah. Saliba was Wait. there. Yeah, we lost to you guys last year at our house, and that was mm. and that was uh, that was the mentality issue. Look, this look. year, this year we've shown it twice that we that we don't have the mentality issues because we both times we held our own. Against yeah, you. I know. But look, look, I'm 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 just happy, Staffy. Like I'm happy. Like this chest has been around from uh, Arsenal fans, and for them to say peers, I'm just shocked. I wouldn't if I was an Arsenal fan, I wouldn't call City our peers right now because the, what the hell do you want me to call you? A superior? Like you're a master? Uh, okay, uh, sit here uh, the master. Get the no, 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 that way. Not that way. Don't get triggered. Don't get triggered. It's what fine. What are you it's talking fine. about? It's fine. Don't get triggered. It's fine. Anyway, well, look, all I'm saying is... You want us to call you... You oh, want us to call you daddy or something? Like, what is this? Oh, nah, no, Diddy. No, Diddy. No, Diddy. Chill, hey, chill. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hold yeah, on. No, Until I download the Diddy yeah, clip. Yeah. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to have a no Diddy clip soon because that's the new uh, Yeah, one. Yeah, it is the way. Look, guys, I'm just saying... All, all I'm saying, which which makes me laugh, is every time these people are describing themselves stuff is oh the best defense. They even say that the best keeper when we go to the two keepers, uh, and they talk about the best midfield and the best uh best uh, front three because obviously they say Saka is world class. Only them believe that. I don't get how you guys even looking at this city team. That's just one point behind you. Doesn't that go in your head that this team you're saying is dropped is still one point behind you? Are you not scared at all? Straight and say we are going to the Etihad. You can you can ignore the Etihad, but ask Bayern fans, Madrid fans. That place when 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 as it's been going on Twitter, when people start saying we have to make sure this place is rocking, it rocks during these games. And let let me not forget, if you're looking at the training videos. These players look focused and they look ready. And you guys are saying, oh, De Bruyne is just is coming from NJ. It doesn't matter. Rodri, who hasn't lost in a while, it doesn't matter. We have Deacon Rice and Jorginho. And, oh, he has a, but, but I'm telling you, these guys, when the moment comes, they step up. And I'm telling you, Sunday can go in a way where we won't see any Arsenal fans on in public. Because last season, let me not lie, you guys were still having chest, regardless of Rob Holding. I remember... Most of you are still having chess and you're going to the Etihad and you're living with something. That's what you were telling us. We, we were wrong. We were wrong to think Whoa. that we were... One second. We were wrong to think that without Saliba, we could go on to win the league. That was just stupidity from anybody. The reality of the situation... Also, was you admit that you were wrong. That chess from last season again. No, because... I mean, but you got to understand why... I, I do understand why last season they still believed in it. Because they were doing so well that... They just had too much. Unfortunately, now you can look at it and it looked stupid, but they had a lot of hopium that this team 
is going to be able to do it while Saliba's not there. Unsaid Someone's going to step in. Know? It is, to be fair, Patrick, we all, as, as emotional football fans, we all do that. Like, I'll tell you, me 11 years ago or whatever, when Sir Alex left, I thought we we're going to keep up the momentum. Look at me 11 years later. <laughs> I know, I know. Even my I brother thought my brother thought it's going to be easy money. Now my brother's like, oh, my God. Go ahead, you got me. Say say something. So we have the whole I, I, just, I, just, I just want people to acknowledge that this is not the same animal. You guys constantly keep talking about Arsenal as if we're the same team from last season. Number one, we now have a midfield that can actually control games and can match you guys. I'm not saying we have players that are on the same level and have the same experience and have won the same things. But as, as of this season, Rodri and Declan Rice are spoken about in the same bracket. And last year when we had Thomas Partey in these big games, he disappeared. He didn't play well. Also, Martin Odegaard, this guy has uh, people who've been calling him a ghost and making fun of him. He's been showing up in these big games. Away against Porto, one of the main guys who stepped up big time. Our defense, Gabriel Magales and Saliba, have been two of the best defenders, and none of your defenders have been on either of their levels this season. Our defense this season has been better than yours. And also, don't forget, you now have not only potentially uh, Ederson out, who you guys tell me is not a big miss. Uh, He's training. Ederson, knows, Ederson has been training. Okay, and then you have uh, John Stones, who you guys are telling me is a big miss, and Carl Walker, who you guys are telling me is a big miss. Personally, I don't think it's that big of a miss, but I think with you guys regressing a little bit and it being at your home ground, I think it's a 50-50 game. You need to put a little bit more respect on our name. And the way that some, uh, the way that Patrick's speaking and the way that Vader's coming out, you guys are almost acting like your shit don't stink and you guys are not vulnerable this season. No, we thought no. of bring in, I, I want to bring in Vader and... and, and uh, and uh, TJ on this, and listen. Speaking of the devil, he has arrived. Speak of the devil, speak of the devil, and he may appear. Big up, Lee. And he requested the name. Let me fix <laughs> it's it. It's about to get toxic and negative, guys. Break yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me let me fix we're this. Dealing here. factual information, which is scary. Arsenal are not, but we're it's scary. It's scary factual information. Big up the panel, man. Come on, big up to all you lot. Yeah, yeah, well. I just want to say one thing, but I know you got a show. I know you want to carry on doing what you're doing. You don't need to fact check, to, uh, Gail. You don't need to fact check. You know I deal in facts, innit? You don't need to fact check. It's one win, <laughs> one loss, sorry, in 32 since we beat them. In all comps. How, how many draws? That's irrelevant. They're unbeaten. Yeah, they've, no, lost, no, what, they've unbeaten in four months, by the way. Sixth of December was the last time they lost a the game. No, no, but, but you're forgetting the city. You're forgetting the draw against Liverpool. You're forgetting the draw against Chelsea. You're forgetting the draw against Tottenham. You're forgetting, you're forgetting these. Wait, you said one loss. Did they not lose to Newcastle? Did they not lose to Aston Villa? In the, the Aston Villa game is the only loss they've had since we beat them. Uh, since we beat them on the eighth of October, they have not lost a single game. We didn't lose Aston Newcastle. Villa. We didn't. But but Lee... they, they lost to Newcastle in the cup, but that was before we played them in the League Cup. That was before the eighth of October when we played yeah. them in the League. I did in fact to information. Since the eighth of October, when we beat them one 0 at the Emirates with that deflected goal, big up Martinelli. Yeah, big up Tommy Asu. Yeah, big up twenty nine because he played all right. Yeah, big up Thomas Party. Yeah, but since we beat them on the 8th of October, they have lost one game, and that was to Aston Villa. And then guess yeah. what? We went where the following week, and we got packed as well. <laughs> yeah, and... how many games have we lost since then? Wait, wait. They played in the so, World so, Cup. They played in the where, FA Cup. Where, did, the where did their other loss come from? So they lost to Aston Villa, they lost to Arsenal. Where did the other loss Wolves. come from? Wolves, oh, that right? was early in the season. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, which again, nobody talks about it because it's only yeah. Arsenal that get robbed by VAR. Yeah, but that game, he Chan should have been sent off for a second yellow card in that game, and he ended up scoring the winner. So, so Lee, are we only counting losses? Because in my opinion, draws. Yeah, because also... if you're unbeaten, yeah, let's, if you've only had one loss, that means you're hard to beat. No, no, no. I hear that, but also City pick up way more draws. So the fact that they picked up draws versus Tottenham, uh, Tottenham the fact they picked up draws versus Chelsea, the fact that they picked up draws versus Liverpool, shouldn't that also? Be counted as a negative towards their record because really and truly, yeah, if you if you drop points either way, if it's a win, if it's a loss, or if it's a draw, either way, it hurts you. Facts, yeah, but we're, we're only one point ahead of them because they've actually lost less games than Arsenal. They've I know, but they've three, drawn. But they've, they've drawn, drawn two more. They've drawn two more than us, which is why we're one point clear. Yeah, which comes back to my point. They're extremely hard to beat. They've lost less games than Arsenal since in scary Arsenal. I've lost more games than this team just in the league. Forget the other competitions, just in the league, yeah? They've lost less games than us. Yeah, they got rid of Mahrez, Bula. 
They got rid of Gundogan, Baller, Cancelo's gone, Laporte's gone, Palmer's gone. Yeah, and they replaced him with Doku, who's trash. Yeah, just runs around like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, he's rubbish, bruv. Yeah, that guy's got no, oh, my no goodness. nothing about him. Yeah, he is literally Saint Maximin from Belgium. Lee, you're gonna yeah. regret those words soon, but go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> what kidding. what about him this season has given you any hope that he'll come good? Just look, at the, end, at, at the end of the day, this is what people, this is what makes me laugh. This is what we tell people that, look, at City, it's very difficult. And Doku was played as a right winger, has been brought as a left winger. It's his first season. People struggle at City in the first season. But you can't tell me that if you're looking at Doku, you're like, Pepper's already said improving him. Look at the recent games. He played him uh, with Ford and down the middle and how Doku was doing some movements with Ford and was amazing. Give him a season and you will see next season. At City... We never throw away players at the first season. There's only one player who's been thrown out. His name is Phillips. Obviously, he had issues with him, so mm -hmm. he's gone. Uh, thank God. I don't even think we're going to get Did a penny from that. To cut you off. What, what's your name, fella? Patrick. Uh, my name is Patrick, man. My name is Patrick, man. Nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet to cut you. Off, right? But <laughs> let me tell you now, you've, you've just signed a kid called Savinio. He's clear, bruv. Yeah, and Doku will not be there at the end. Of, this time next year, they'll be looking to get rid of Doku. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you exactly why. Right, because he would be good at a team like Fulham, West Ham, Everton, mid-table teams where teams will open up and he can go on, on Newcastle teams like that, where it's a back and forth, back and forth. When you're dominating possession, you need technically gifted footballers on the ball. Bernardo, Grealish, Foden, players like that, which is why Man City have always been so good. Mares, yeah, David Silva, players like that. When you've got this Doku guy, yeah, cool, he's scary going forward. He can run under a mile an hour and he's got quick change of direction. He's got no composure whatsoever, and he can't cross a ball. All the right. lad you've just signed, yeah, from um, Troyes online no, at Girona, Girona, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. is clear of him already. Why? Because left foot, right foot, he's technically sound. Yeah, he's very raw. He'll have three good games, three bad games, but the three good games will be better than any game Doku's had that's good. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right. Sure. What, what, all right. What Doku will Vader, be what are you saying about your boy? Listen, I know um, where to find Lee when things when, when things happen <laughs> next year. So it's all good. I know where to find him. But I'm gonna say I've watched Corona most of the season. He is light years clear of this no, guy, I, bro. I hear it. I hear it. Yeah. I hear it. And the same with that Nico Williams. If anyone wants Nico Williams, forget it. He's rubbish. Yeah, he is literally the Spanish Doku. Yeah. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Doku young 20, 20 year old um some time. I'm gonna give him next year before I, too, I, I, I give him the verdict. Yeah, but, bro, his age has got nothing to do with it. I'll tell you why, yeah. I watched Spain versus Brazil the other day. There's a 16 year old. Yeah, standing ovation at the Bernabeu. Plays for Barcelona. Yeah, that kid, nobody mentions his name. Yeah, he's not even got a FIFA yeah. card on FIFA because he's not old enough to get a FIFA card. He has to be 17 to get a FIFA card to have okay. his face on there. Right? Nobody's mentioning his age. Why? Because he's producing the goodies every week. Yeah. All right. And he's doing right. it in a team at Barcelona that are not that good, by the way. They're not very good. Yeah. They're not very good. There's a center okay. back in place for them who's 17, Kubasi. He's quality. Nobody's mentioning hey. 17. The only so you, the only I'm reason not going to fight you. Lee, I'm not going to fight simple. you on it. All I'm going to remember is a St. Maximin comparison. To <laughs> yeah, 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 let's remember that. We'll remember that, that. We'll remember that, that. I know you've speak. already clipped that. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> no, I'll, it's there's nothing here. wrong with that comparison, though, because he doesn't have end product. Exactly. But I'm saying he will, so that's why I'm holding that. Did he have end product in the press last year? But he, he did have end product. Yeah, yeah, but he's saying right. Binum. He's saying get rid of Doku, don't even invest. Can, he's he's going to be terrible. Don't invest. But do, I'm, do, I'm do you think he would... Let me go back to Lee's point, because he, he does uh -oh. make a good point where he says he's probably better against teams that allow him space to run into. Do you feel like yeah. Arsenal would give you that on um, on Sunday, Vader? No. Because no, they're not a team that's going to park the bus. They're not. They're not. No, they're not going to park the bus. I don't know if they're going to play up to the halfway line and really and really press us that tightly. But I do think that it's not a game for Jeremy Doku to start. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was subbed on. I wouldn't be surprised if he was brought on at the latter stages of the game to go up against a Ben White who maybe ha might have some tired legs, having gone up and down the pitch, maybe overlapping. But we'll we'll see on that one. If it, ben White if I were hugged him off at the Emirates, don't forget that. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, but the same way you want to talk about past games, I'm looking at this upcoming game and a change. Did you play Doku player was. Grealish? No, I would, I would bring Doku on as a sub. Grealish would start for me. Grealish healthy is who I would start. But what I, what I respect with what Lee was talking about in terms of form, in terms of games, it wasn't he wasn't taking the point of view with regards to the points. It could, we could easily go and see who's top of the standings and who suffered more losses, more draws, who won more, and see the point difference. But he brought up the point about winning and not suffering a loss. And that's why many of us City fans have chess. 
is because at our home ground, we've been very difficult to beat. Not alone, not just in the league, but in Champions League. We've been difficult to beat. And there's also the player, Rodri, which you guys are tired of hearing. But he, when he starts, he does not suffer a loss. So when it comes down to even the last 10 games in particular, City, two draws. Arsenal, two losses in the last 10 games. So if we want to look at that type of form, let's just keep that in comparison. Just strictly stats, know, know my feelings, know what I think can happen. Purely, the last 10 games, we've suffered two draws. Okay, so, so let me better you. Let me better you. Why don't we go the last five games, and in the last five games, you have two draws. Arsenal undefeated in all of them, and have been smashing it goal records. You, you, you just move the goal post. You just move so the goal post. You literally... Depending on the sample size you use, depending on the sample size you use, the narrative can change. That's my point. Okay, okay, the okay that's fine. That's fine. So, so, let's go back to the 7th of December. They lost on the 6th to Villa. Let's go from the 7th of December to now, 29th, 30th of March now, where I am. Yeah, they ain't lost the game. And you want to know something? In that time period, Arsenal have the most wins. Yeah, but guess what? We lost to Liverpool and got knocked out of the cup. Yeah, we, we lost oh, to... That Porto. doesn't, that doesn't yeah. matter. We lost to Porto, we're watching, we're Porto, Porto, you're, not counting, you're not counting their losses in the other cups, are you? I can't, you know, I've counted them from when we played them at the Emirates. They've lost one game since, and that's to Villa. No, but, so you, but you just mentioned, Lee, this is where I got you. You mentioned an uh, FA Cup this game, guy. but you forgot to mention their FA Cup game, their League Cup game where they lost. They lost that before they played us in, in October. Since, and I said when I jumped on here and in the chat, since October the 8th when we beat them at the Emirates 1-0, they have lost one game. That's 32 games, one loss. Yeah, They lost to Newcastle before they played us at the Emirates. In that league cup, yeah. I and, thought it was after my bad. No, yeah, so like, when you're saying five games, you're moving the narrative. When you're saying 10 games, yeah, well, I can go cool. Let's go to the last 32, then they've lost once. So, you're saying City's a better team than us right now? City are a better team than us, they're not better to watch. And don't, and then I said this, I did on a video earlier, yeah, and I don't want to take over the whole show because you guys yeah, were doing yeah, it before yeah. I jumped on, yeah. So, no, go ahead, explain, 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 explain. Right? But for, for me. Yeah, don't let people gaslight you into thinking this team is dead because they're not dead. They're one point worse off than the treble winning team last season. They're still in the FA Cup and they're in the Champions League, right? Fair enough, they got Real Madrid, but let's not forget they smoked Real Madrid last season. I don't think they'll smoke them this year. It'll be a closer game because yeah, Real Madrid have got better. Um, they they ain't got so many good players on their bench at Man City now compared to last mm -hmm. season. Yeah. They could bring Mares off and on or whatever. Yeah. However, right when I look at it, yeah, I just look at it and I think like, bro, they've got quality everywhere and they are so hard to beat yeah and don't let arsenal beat in west ham six and burnley five recency bias yeah kick in everyone's forgotten this team have not lost since december the 6th in any competition bro why because arsenal are scintillating scary and dangerous and unstoppable well we're not are we because if we go there and get smoked and you were girl and i don't want to pick on you yeah but you said oh but we had rob holding well rob holding scored against them yeah, what happened to Saka that day? What happened to Martinelli? What happened to Odegaard that day? What happened to our goalkeeper that day? Yeah, where was Tommy Asu? Where were all these other players? This is yeah. where I was going to go. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's easy to blame Saliba's injury and Rob Holding coming in. Well, that comes back to that's a, a transfer issue then. That's that's a, a squad building issue. Yeah, because we obviously didn't do enough to get an adequate replacement if one of them centre-backs got injured. And we have the same issue this season. Yeah, because Tommy Asu is not very good at centre-back and neither is Ben White. They're better on fullback positions, right? Kivior's dead at centre back. Declan Rice, who's the replacement? El Nemi, if Partey. he gets injured. Partey. Thomas Party, what? This guy can't stay fit, bruv. No, no, yeah, no. He's, he's, yeah. he's played 11 minutes or 15 minutes of football since we played Man City. I think we're getting. I think we're getting lost. I think we're getting. Hold on one second. And, and, and big up, Lee. I'm glad you're here. I think. I think we're getting. Them. However, I'm not getting too cocky with it and putting half the team in the combined eleven and all of this. They're quality, bro. And they one need to second. One second. Lee, the thing is, a combined eleven has to do with form. Well, uh, let me let me let me ask you a question. Let, let, let me ask you a yeah, question because because you pretty soon this is gonna yeah pretty soon this is gonna turn into the Lee and Egal show. And as much as I like watching that, <laughs> I like I like entertaining. I like. I wish you do our own show. That'd be lit. Yeah, no, that I would be lit. You guys, week. it would be it'd be box office every single week. I'd watch it. I'd be. I'd there. watch it. Um, but no, look, but no, look, Lee. Do you do you rate like the video the form that we're on? Do do you rate that the form that we're on at all? I mean, we were Liverpool hadn't actually won a straight up game. I still think that they got robbed against Spurs. So I, I, before we went into Liverpool, everybody was, was big up Liverpool and we ended up 
well, we didn't smash them, but we we smothered them and we we dominated them. But do you think form the form that we're on, the confidence that we're on, getting past Porto? Obviously, it wasn't the prettiest thing in the world. But do you think that that form could could give us a little bit of chess and a little bit of confidence going into the uh, oh, yeah, going yeah, into the Etihad? I think I think now I think now now why we're talking with a little bit of chess, we're standing up a little bit taller, is because this time last season when we played Man City. We were we were spinning. We were struggling. We were so inconsistent. Right now, we are actually showing some consistency. What do you think about that? No, I, I Lee, before agree. you answer, once again, sorry, Lee. Before you answer, guys, there's over 200 people here. Lee That's rose up up. like the Undertaker and yes. joined the show, and we're only on 60 likes. What the hell is this? Come on, get them likes up. Get <laughs> that the was likes my favorite up. wrestler as a kid as well. Yeah, absolutely. No, but no, but well, do you I, think I, I agree, gonna come I agree, into it? I think I think we should have a little bit of chest. Yeah, but at the same time, our fan base, not all of them, but a lot of them get so gassed and giddy. Yeah. Have a bit of shame, have a bit of humbleness, have a bit of respect for the team we're playing against who ain't lost since December 22 at home. Yeah. And have not lost in four months and have lost one in six months. Yeah. And we're just going to rock up there like it's nothing. Bro, I've predicted a draw. Yeah. I think it will be a tougher game for Man City than it was last year when we just folded. However, yeah. Mm. Do not be surprised if we get battered. Bro, yeah, that would be ridiculous. Bro. Yeah, it would be ridiculous, but nobody will call it out. And that's my no, point. That's I don't think happen. we will. No, I don't think we will. But the reason I'm saying that, yeah, is because let's not forget they've still got Bernardo. They've still got Foden. They've still got Grealish. They've still got Haaland. Yeah. And then, yes, they're not playing great. But let's not also forget we're playing fantastic. We've just had 21 days or 19 days off of Premier League football, by the way. Yeah. That's They've had shout. more players keeping fit going to international duty than we have. No, that's yeah. not true. They have more players that are injured, bro. Yeah, okay, cool. So there's no reason not to beat him then. Wait, wait, wait. Igal, Igal, did I just hear you Honestly. say that there's no way City can batter you at the Etihad? No, you're you're not battering us. We don't set up in a way where any team can take advantage of us the way we okay. used to get taken advantage of. Okay. The way um, we set up the way we set up defensively. You're not going to have that many opportunities throughout the 90 minutes to to even get a, get a goal. You're going to have to be extremely clinical for you to get close to two to three goals. Ooh. Okay. Okay. How do now, you predict the game? To, to, to go ahead, Vader, and then I'll ask you. Yeah. I, the whole thing, the whole thing boils down to us v them, obviously. But where I'm like, guys, let's relax with how we speak. And I know it's easy to say the last time you played against us, you got wins, but they were like they, they were hairs. We're splitting hairs in terms of how those games were won. It was penalties and it was one deflected goal. Like, would you want to bring up? Yeah, your are we, are we ignoring the Rodri game winner at the Emirates the year prior, a couple years prior? Are we ignoring that? No, why? No, no it's because you guys keep saying you beat us this season. But... Because you keep saying you beat us twice this season. I think Vader is relating it just basically. I don't think, I don't, I don't, Egal, Egal or myself have not brought the Community Shield into this conversation, by the way. I so have. I have on numerous occasions. Okay, you have. Okay, I have not. But but I, I still think we we, we can... We did beat you guys at the Emirates. You can tell, you can say, you can say oh, if it was splitting hairs, whatever. One goal win is a one goal win. Yeah, so this is if I had a chance to actually finish what I wanted to say is, yeah, we suffered the loss, but it's not like it was a controlled, dominant performance. This game is going to be tight. This is all that I'm trying to say. It's going to be a tight game because of the quality on both sides. But when you guys want to talk about, oh, we kept Holland quiet, we kept so-and-so quiet, well, in essence, we kept you quiet with one goal, right? It, it wasn't like either team was so dominant or in controlling. That is a good point, Vader. There's a good Once point. Again, you kept us quiet, but you lost. So does it really matter? Yeah, but, but, yeah, but you can you can listen to the One second, one second. Let me say something. Let me say something. A game can be quiet regardless of the team winning or losing. You can put a, a very good defensive game, make one mistake, the team co converts from it, and then they win. You're not going to go back and revise the game and say, oh my God, we absolutely destroyed them. That's the one thing you guys were doing on that game where you guys beat us 3-1. And I said, guys, you need to remember that that game was 1-1 until the 94th minute. Mm. But we were When you really look at the that. score... I was, I was at that no, no, game. We were Egal, you were at the, the game. Egal, I get it. You were at the game. Of course, you guys battered us in terms of how much you guys had the ball and all that. But if you watched the game and you just looked at the score line, if you just looked at the score, and let's say you didn't watch the game, you saw 3-1, you're like, you know what? 3-1, we probably battered them all game. Oh, my God, it was easy. Yeah, it was but really, when you look at it, it took you a deflected goal from Rice. And obviously, the last goal was because we threw out the kitchen sink. 
that goal doesn't get scored if, if it wasn't 2-1. And that's what I'm saying. The score and, and and the scenario of the game are not usually aligned based on just what, 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 what the result was. And that's what Vader's trying to say. We lost 1-0, but it doesn't mean that we didn't keep, keep it quiet. Okay. We just kept uh, it quiet by less one goal than you guys because you scored the, one. The, they the, reason, score. the reason why people don't realize why we keep talking about that game and bigging up that game is because, one, the mentality issue. We have not beaten City for how many years? We needed to get that monkey off our back. And with that win, we did. Number two, it was the situation where it was the first time uh, where we've seen Arsenal relatively keep the best attack in the league for uh, quiet. In the Community Shield game, you can say, oh, it's preseason, no one cares. But in the league, even though they don't have Rodri, even though they don't have Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Haaland's service was cut off. That one shot on target. I, I agree mm -hmm. with you. I don't. I yeah, don't. And their only that. shot was a was from a corner where the defender got a kick on it. No, no, okay, I'm not disagreeing with you on that because I've seen that multiple times. But this mm -hmm. actually brings me to this question, and I'm gonna go to you, Vader, because I know you want to speak. I want to ask you this question, Vader. And obviously, Patrick, if you want to jump in after, go ahead. Do you feel, Vader, that this whole thing that you guys are probably favorites just because you're home? Disregard, uh, disregarding the players that you have and the technical ability that you have and the manager that you have, do you think that's a fair narrative or no? Because every time I hear why Arsenal are the uh, uh, Arsenal, um, sorry, City are the favorites, it's just purely because you guys are home. No one really talks about tactically how good you are individually, how good your players are, how yeah. good Pep is. Yeah, and and I think I think that's where things get to in terms of oh, what's going to be the speaking point. What's the easy speaking point? It's to say City are at home. That's why there's an edge. But I don't understand how it just boils down to that when everybody wants to look at what the bookies are doing or everybody wants to do predictions. City are always favorites. I don't think it boils down to us just being at home, even when it comes down to Arsenal, because there's questions in terms of how they can play against us. And the only thing that the, the real thing that I want to point out, though, is we have quality on why we should be favorites. We have Holland still leading the league in goal scoring. And you guys want to point out how you kept him quiet. Okay, but he's still a threat. It is still a new game. We'll see whether you set up the same way. Now, when you want to ignore Rodri and KDB not being a part of the last time we played, well, guess what? They're playing this game. So I don't think it's just being at home. It's the fact that we have those players on the pitch this time around as well why we are considered to be favorites. Now, maybe that drops down a little bit now with, with regards to some of the defensive players that aren't available, but it's more than being at home why we're favorites. Or else Arsenal almost should be looked as favorites no matter where they go. Because if you're if if their favorites going to the Etihad, they should be favorites almost anywhere they go in the you world. Want, you want to know something? Besides Liverpool away and Man City away, Arsenal Football Club, Liverpool and Man City are favorites at every single ground. That's the reality. Arsenal, okay. food, your favorites at every ground. Arsenal. Yeah. Bro, we go to every ground we go to from now to the end of the season, bar Man City, we are favorites. We go to the Manchester... We go to Manchester... Yeah, you come to us the second yeah. and last game of the Bro, season. Your favorites at Old Trafford. We go, listen to look me. Look at Lee. Look at Lee. Look at Lee. Look at Lee. When we go to, the, when we go to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, we are favorites. Wow. When wow. we go to Old Trafford, we are favorites. Wow. When we go to, are when you we talking about what? Are you talking about purely just just so everybody gets the context? You're talking purely about books, right? Like purely that's... based no, on he's... purely based on the betting odds and how we played this season. Okay. Everybody would have. No, no, he's talking about football as well, not just betting odds. Well, you're talking just... betting odds. You're talking. No, we're talking about football. Versus team. I just think. No, no, I, I, I just think. Don't they say hand odds? in hand? Am I confused? Like, Every, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah, that on, watches knows. Sorry, the, everybody that watches, and I'm not trying to counteract you 100%, Egal, but I'm just saying that everybody, everybody that watches Arsenal or has watched Arsenal over the last few years, know that if we go into Old, old Trafford, it doesn't matter who's favored. We we tend to beat ourselves at Old Trafford. It doesn't matter how good or bad. Egal, don't United are. TJ's we actually. Have, that's true. That's true. Sorry. But the same way, City would be favorites even when they go to Tottenham away, even though they've had a bad record. No, we're not. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. City aren't favorite favorite going favorites Tottenham? against Tottenham. No, we haven't even registered a goal at their place. You beat them the this league. season. Yeah, not in the league. league. Not the league. We league. have not that's registered that's a goal at Tottenham. What is what? Yeah, let, let, let me ask you all something. Yeah, when you make these claims, and by the way, I'm just trying to dissect what you just said. Claims. When you make these claims, <laughs> is it just based on the football ability on the pitch? Because if that's what you're going by, I do agree with you. 
I'm not going got, by the history of uh, going to Old Trafford or going to Tottenham Stadium. I acknowledge. So you're not this. considering everything around it. That's no. I think that's I'm just merely saying, based on the situation that we're in and the quality that we've have a, a, a team, majority of teams that we face this season, bar Liverpool and City, we are going to be the favorites. Just strictly, if it was played on a neutral ground. But now that we're going but to it's their not, ground, that's why it's an then, issue. We but go. then. But then, but then, listen to what I'm saying. Even if we're going to Tottenham away, even if we're going to City away, City is the only team where we're not favorites. City is the favorites. I am not going into the game versus Tottenham saying Tottenham are the favorites. It's a 50-50 game or Arsenal are the favorites, in my opinion. No, Manchester you're, saying United... you're, not, you're saying you're not saying that. But on not just not just Arsenal or Tottenham fans or Arsenal or Man United fans. Yeah, and I said this with Rance earlier. When we go to Old Trafford, we've won one in 14 years. Right? One in 14 years. Right? Mm -hmm. No matter how bad they play, they will turn up against us. Whether we're in a title race, whether we're fifth, whether we're eighth, same with Tottenham. Hence why or we've only we beaten them up. once in nine years or 12 years. Or we, we were the there. first team to beat you guys last season. Remember, you were six. So, six so Dean, let me ask you a question. Them two we games got, right there. April 28th, we're not favourites. Simply, quite a simple question. April 28th, Tottenham away. Taking into a factor how the two teams play. Are you saying we're, we're underdogs against Tottenham? We're... we're well, it depends where we are in the league. It depends how we're playing. It depends how they're playing. Not only that, it depends whether they're on the beach because they can't get top four. Yeah, like if because that's the second to last away game. If they're on the beach and they're nine points off of getting top four with a couple of games to go, they're finished. Yes, yeah, so they could be on the beach. Yeah, there's loads of factors that add in, but not only that, we've got one win since 2000 in 10 years, one win at their ground. And, and when, we're that, when we played them at our ground, it, yeah, when we played them at our ground. If that game had gone for another 10 minutes, they win that game. And we got no, two when, in that but Lee, Lee, when was the last win against Tottenham uh, at their ground? Last season. Yeah, so when, they had, a, change, when they had an interim manager. <laughs> when they had an interim manager, bro. Yeah. You can change that based on one game ago, though. I, I think you guys forget that these kind of milestones can change a team's mentality going into these games. I don't think Arsenal fear anybody from now until in the season. The only game that I think we would be underdogs is against City and Bayern at the Allianz. How those are you are underdogs? You just told us that your defense is better, your midfield is better. How can you be underdogs then? No, those are the only two games people would consider as underdogs. Away at the Allianz yeah. and away at the Etihad. Against Tottenham, no one's saying we're underdogs. Against Manchester United, no one's saying we're underdogs. Everyone's going to say either your favorites or it's 50-50. That's what I mean by I'm saying we're not going into any games underdogs. Uh, l listen, I'm not at the level as a City fan to say that any grounds other than Liverpool and Arsenal, I'm favorites going to their grounds. I'm just not comfortable saying that. Those words came out of your mouth, not mine. So <laughs> the, the future games that we have to play, it's going to be, it's going to be a different story. All no, 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 don't forget, don't forget the burnabout for you because you're still gonna end up having to go there too. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not claiming to be favored going, going over there. Last year at White Hart Lane, what was the result last year at the uh, burnabout? Let's oh, it was one one, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I have not registered a goal at Spurs, like literally. They scored at the burnabout though, but they scored at the burnabout, innit? Yeah, mm -hmm. but they couldn't score at Spurs. Yeah, so don't go just off of last year. Yes. Fantastic, we beat Spurs last year at their ground. Fantastic, we done Man United. Yeah, however, this is a different season, bro. Yeah, this is a different season. Yeah, different players, different scenarios, different signings, injuries come into play as well. They might have injuries, we might have injuries. Yeah, and not only that, I think what a lot of people forget as well, yeah, is where we are in the league right now, the pressure is on. Yeah, every game is a must win. You drop points, you're finished. Now you have to come back again and hope that two other teams drop points. And this is why, if he wins it this season, Arteta, that's better than last season because he was up against one manager and bottled it. If he wins it this season, he's doing it against two that have won it. Yeah, that would be a better achievement, especially when we're all close together. Yeah, which is why I don't run my mouth. Look at these City fans again. Come on, bruv. Yeah, look at these City fans sitting there all humble with it. And they were not humble video. before you got here, bro. That is actually, that is true. No, that's not true. I was watching bro. it. 
Bro, Lee, Lee was, was on, in the I chat. Was on, I mean, was, Lee was here. Don't forget, yeah, Lee, 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 Lee. What you have to understand is we've been we've done three shows back to back with Vader today, and I've just done two shows back to back with Patrick. Patrick was on another show, running his mouth saying this Arsenal team. Kevin because Dubois, because your man Dio, uh, so Ghana. There's a guy called Dio, right? He's oh, don't he, oh, Dio. He says he says oh, he's Dio. coming to the ATA to beat us three one, and there's no no negotiations. And one guy also could uh, say that Arsenal top dogs are coming. To the idiot, I said, how, how are you top dogs? You, you haven't won anything in a while. It's just that, Igal, you've made me laugh. You said, oh, we're not favorites against City, but you told us just a few minutes ago that your defense is better, your midfield is better, and you feel comfortable that your team is stronger. So why are you changing? Why are you flip-flopping, Igal? Because, because your record <laughs> are your crown. I still respect the fact oh, that... Now the, oh, the record you respected before you... Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I always made it clear. I never I, I never actually put down the Etihad. One thing I did say is the Etihad, you guys have a ridiculous record there. When was the last time you lost there? And you told us that our atmosphere doesn't scare you. I never said game. that. I never said that. Oh, was I don't that know maybe the guy with the Casey hat? No. Yeah. My name's TJ. My name's TJ. I'm just oh, saying... TJ, TJ, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just saying that I don't think. I don't think the in terms of the balance of play. I don't think the atmosphere is necessarily going to take take into it. If you're gonna if you're gonna talk with Chest about your city about about city, talk about your players and the quality of your players and the quality of your manager. That's all I'm saying. Like I I don't think I don't think the atmosphere necessarily is going to come into it, especially with the form that Arsenal are on. Like it's going to yeah, come down to the quality. It's going to come. Right. So it's going to come – hold on, Lee, one second, one second, then then oh. launch off. No, literally, literally, I think it's going to come down to the quality of players and the quality of manager. What manager stacks up their players the best against the other? Because honestly, if you if you compare these uh, these teams on on paper, they're they're pr they're pretty even in terms of what of the quality and the form. If you if you mash it all together, it's an even it's an even match. Nobody is predicting one one or the other to get s smashed unless you're. Co sorry, completely deluded. I like Dio, but his takes are freaking wild, bro. I like <laughs> the guy a lot, but he's wild. He's wild out there. That's all I'm saying. Is the form that we're on gives us a little bit of gives us a little bit of chest. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so, so I, let me, I, let, I agree. I agree with that to a certain degree, but at the same time, yeah, you, know, you said you said well, um, why aren't you talking about your players, your managers, and this and that? Yeah, bro, they don't need to. They don't need to. They they, they don't need to have chest. Yeah, and this and this is the difference. I'm not having a dig at you, TJ. You know I love no, you. No, 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 no. This no. is the difference between the young pretenders and the seasoned vet. The seasoned vets have been there, seen it, done it, won it, got the best manager. They've, they they don't panic, bruv. They're not going to give it all the chest because they now know this is the money shot. This is the last 10 games of the season. Plus the Champions League, plus the FA Cup. They're on back to back. Yo, travel. money shot is a different thing. Money bro. shot is what? Yeah. Where's the rock? Was wild, right? bro. But at this, no, but at the same time, they could potentially create money history shot, by hey, being a back to back. And money shot is definitely here. Yeah. Right? They could do a back to back treble here, which is why when they've seen their team win everything, they ain't got no chest, bro. They don't need to have chest. The chest is there. The trophy showed that. Yeah. Whereas with us as a fan base, not all of us, but a lot of us, yeah. We have to give it the chest and big ourselves out. Then they just little bro us every year. Yeah, hopefully this year we go there and beat them. Yeah, but this is why I'm kind of semi-confident we can get something. Yeah, mm. but but <laughs> this is why I just stay chill, bro. I've been there, seen it. I've been to the Etihad many times. And every time I've been to the Etihad, we've been smoked. Same as at Anfield. We've yes, never we've had a team this good. Well, we have That's because it. I've seen I've seen the 2002 team at Anfield. Yeah, I've seen like... And, I've I've seen us. When was the last no, time no, we won no. at Anfield? Robin van Persie scored, bro. That's how long set, ago. Set it was. The I mean, okay. Let, let me let me let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it. Obviously, I'm not saying in our history of our club league. I'm just saying in the last ten years, we've not had a team this good go to that yet. So how comes we couldn't beat Fulham and West Ham then? So it's it's always it's, we've got a great team, the best team. But in previous years, we've beaten yeah West Ham and Fulham. So it's all it's all. Subject, it's all the same, you know what I'm saying? To be, it's all relative, to be yeah. fair, to be fair, there is going to be games where you slip up and you need to fix that. The manager and the, and the coaches went into that international break and they fixed that. We've come back a much better team since then, so they clearly know the mistakes they made. I can't tell you the oh, mistakes. Oh, yeah, we've been brilliant, we've been brilliant, Nagao, since that, um, since that Dubai trip, yeah, yeah. But this is a different type now because this is now the last 10 games and we have not played any professional football in the Premier League. Yeah, by the time we play that game, it will be 19 days when, since when we played Brentford. 19, yes, we played Porto, 
19 days. And I know some of them have gone you know on something? international. It's a totally different game on international. It's walking football. But you know something? It's a good thing in one, one, one second ago because I think Vader got to go. Vader, big up, bro. Big up, Vader. Go. Yeah, yeah, man. Guys, guys, guys love, the, love the panel. Love <laughs> the talk. We're going to be talking again on Sunday. Watch along with TJ. I'm going to be there for the intro. Let's Patrick, you know we're probably going to do a pre-show, post-show. And listen, you got to find you. We'll find you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll speak to you Sunday. I'll speak to you Sunday. Okay, right, don't right. worry, man. When Doku's playing for West Ham or Everton, yeah, just remember <laughs> I told you, innit? Everyone's I... going to be collecting receipts. Yeah, There's yeah, yeah. I know where you at. I know where you at, Lee, but bless, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, <laughs> see you later, man. Okay, okay, guys, I'm trying to stay on course here a little bit before, before obviously, we end up the, the, the show soon because I know you guys would love to sit here forever, but unfortunately, not everyone can make it. So mm -hmm. I just want to address a question. Let me bring in uh, Patrick here because he's the only City fan left. Don't worry, yeah, Patrick. I'll, I'll, I'll try to be. Uh, I'll, I'm yeah, good. I'll, I'll try to be uh, a little bit unbiased there and be your partner for for the show. But let me ask you this question, and because I'm gonna ask the the Arsenal guys the same thing, what does that win on the weekend do for you? If assuming City win, because a lot of people are saying if City don't win, that's pretty much the league done and dusted for you guys. Do you agree with that, or do you disagree? And what happens if you do win? I I think I think it depends on the team that's coming. That's why I I say that. It's it's because it's Arsenal coming and they are top and they're in good form. Beating them, I think City will have a bit of a boost. Because, you know, like there's moments in, in the title race all the time when, you know, oh, now they're switched on, now they're ready to go on. Because I think if we slap Arsenal in the mouth on, on, on Sunday, I think that just shows to the City boys that, you know what, let's go do this again. And I think they all, they all want to do this again. Let's not forget there's a narrative of, of a four-peat that has never been done before. So for us, yeah, if we beat these guys, I think City will go on maybe and even start looking at the treble. I think it might go as far as that if we beat these guys. Like, look, for me, I'm going to be honest. I even say that because I've been doing this all day, these previews, but I say that in my first preview that I'm respecting this Arsenal team based on form. I'm respecting them that they are on form, they're on top form. That's why beating them as their number one on top form, even if it's one point, will mean a lot for City. It will mean a lot. And it can actually boost us, as I said. It gives you a lot of momentum. Yeah. And also, yeah, yeah. it's the same for Arsenal. If Arsenal beats City, they've beaten the guys that have been making them little bro for a while. So they will now say, you know, we've beaten them at the Emirates. We've beaten them at the Etihad. We are not going to drop points. Do you get my point? So I think it's a, and I agree with a you. mental boost for both sides. It is a mental boost for both sides. I right. agree with you. How about, how about you, Egal, or, or, or anyone else? You win. I, I actually want to hear Egal because Egal is the only one who's a little bit more good. I feel like I know what Lee and TJ we said, a little bit more grounded. But Egal, you beat them on Sunday. You go four points clear, I believe. I, I, as I Patrick know. said, you finally got that monkey off your back. What are you saying from that? Are you favorites now to win the league if you do? And is, is it over for them? It's very simple. Arsenal win. We're favorites to win the league. Arsenal and, and and Man City draw. Liverpool are favorites. City win. They're favorites. This is the definition of a title decider. The team that comes out of this game, the winner or the team that drops points, can can basically look at their title hopes and say, you know what, they they it's taken a hit. If Arsenal lose, I don't think we're out. I think if City lose, I, you can't count them out either. But the reality of the situation is both teams need to win. The team that comes out of if we draw. Both of us lose, really and truly. And Liverpool go on, and, and it's in their hands. So right now, you need to come out of these games with the three points. Are you asking us to title decider, or are you asking him what's going to happen? Because that's two different things. I mean, it's, it's not a title decider by, by mathematically. It can't be, because there's like there nine more be, games yeah, after this. No, no, because we, although there's nine more games left, the reality of the situation is if City lose this game, it could hurt their chances to this title a lot more than Arsenal's. But that's why I asked you that because I, I obviously you guys are already ahead of them by I think a point. I think if City lose this game, they're out of the title race. The they boost that you would get from beat that. them. It, I thought it, you it said you can out. never you, you can never doubt City. You, you can never it. count them out. But the reality the situation is, it would be <laughs> what Patrick is on his neck today. It would, it would be it would be four points. It would be a four point. It would be a four point gap with two teams that have a four point gap ahead of you. And, and you have to not only overtake one team, but you have to overtake two teams potentially. That's if Liverpool beat Brighton. So if Arsenal was to lose, we would have what? We would have a three-point uh, a three point gap behind, behind uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Assuming they beat Brighton. 
uh, assuming they beat Brighton and a two point gap behind City. That one extra point is such a big difference come this late in the season that you 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 just have to factor that in. Yeah, I know because it technically they would need two games out of the nine that are left for you guys to slip up for them to catch up. Two and, out of and nine. Not only that's that, not a good they would ratio. need two teams. They would need two teams to to slip up, and they would need to go do what they haven't been able to do in a couple of years: is beat Tottenham away. I agree with you. I agree with you, and that's why I was asking that. Uh, big up Enigma, sending the super chat. Hey, Gal, don't let them break your confidence. I don't think anyone's trying to break Egal, break Egal's confidence. They're just yeah. trying to have a proper debate. And big up Eli. Sorry, I forgot to mention this super chat earlier. But big up yourself every time, Eli, my brother, my saying brother. we do have a better chance this year. Uh, we must respect City. They still own us at their ground. So we have to prove that we deserve to win the game. I agree with you because it doesn't matter fair. how good or bad you are. Last year, you were much better at Gao going into that, uh, into that City game. Obviously, you had Saliba injured and you still lost because technically you did have more points. You want to know something? So, when has Klopp ever beaten City away? He's beaten City a few times. I don't know how many times away, but Klopp has. <laughs> what, what, has what's, his that, what's that got to do with anything? No, my point, my point is, like, we talk about it as if it's a normal thing to do. It's not normal. to be Bro, every, every, with... every team has a bogey team. When was the last time Klopp beat? How many times in eight appearances has Klopp beat the Zerbi? Once. No, no. So once. you're saying he could drop he points to Brighton this weekend, Lee? Well, they could do, because he's only beaten him once. Every, oh, hey, listen, everyone's got a bogey team, bro. Hey, Lee, if they drop points to Brighton this week, I'll, I'll be doing a dancing video. Don't worry. Bro. <laughs> Yeah, no, no worries. Worries. You're shameless, bro. Yeah, I rate the shamelessness, but at the same time, don't be doing nothing, bro, because it could come back to haunt you in May. Yeah, just say, yo, cool, Liverpool lost, yo, say less. Yeah, because if you're going to do a dancing video and then we get smoked at the Etihad, yeah, it's then you're going to be Obviously, I'm joking, but listen, the reality <laughs> situation is, I th uh, can I ask you guys one question, though? Everybody here. Yeah. Who do, yeah. You, least, who do you least worry about? Uh, uh, out of your rivals so City out of Liverpool Arsenal who do you worry about the least and Lee and TJ who do you worry about the least out of City and Liverpool because to me it's Liverpool I think that's a tough one because I think Liverpool got an easier run in and they're in the Europa League and they're at home against Atalanta first leg they could smoke them let's just be real with it they could smoke them and then they can rest a load of players in the second leg <laughs> like, do you know what I'm saying their running's a lot easier than Man City and Arsenal's but on the flip side, Man City have been there, done it, won it, going for a four-peat, going for a back-to-back -back treble, and have got a great manager, although Liverpool have as well. I don't know. It, it's a flip of a coin. I'm worried about them both, if I'm honest. Yeah, we we are... We are... the Liverpool should be favourites. That's what I'm trying to say. Liverpool should be favourites for the league as it stands right now. All right, what about, what about you, Patrick? Who are you worried about? I don't know, man. I'm worried about everybody because even Klopp with Liverpool team because I've been surprised this season because I was like, how is he doing it? Because I'm sorry, man. When I went to Anfield this season, I had the same... Uh, I'll, sound, I'll sound like a hypocrite. I had the same chest as you guys. I was like, Anfield with that team that's... After, after the hour I saw the team, I was like, that's laughable, man. There's no way we're going to do... We're going to do something today. Oh, my God. I don't know how Klopp does it. He motivated them. First half, we took over them. Second half, came. so I'm so worried about Liverpool because Klopp can still motivate them. And this is his last season. So he can continue going with that sort of sobby thing saying, lads, do it for me. So I'm worried about both of you, man. Both of the teams you should be worried about because whoever flinches between the three of us goes down and whoever steps up is the one who's going to win it. So I can't discard any of you because there's only one point. Remember? There's only one point in this. It's not like it's a big gap. And you guys are, are on par with Liverpool, by the way. So I want to show you something. We, we, got... we got a better oh. goal difference, right? Which is yeah. why if we lose, if we lose against City, as long as it's not like if we, uh, there's a way to lose. If we lose and we had no shots on target and they've dominated us and so on and so forth, and we get out there with no shots, this, that, and the other, that could kill us. But if we lose one nil or even two nil, yeah which I don't think we will, but if we did lose 1 or 2 nil or a 3-1 or something, but it was an end-to-end -end game, we hit the bar, we missed a couple of sitters, the goalkeeper made worldies, I don't think that would kill us off. And we'd only be maximum three behind. But we have a better goal difference, even if we lost by two goals, for example, yeah? So all we got to do is win one game and Liverpool lose one game and now we're back on top on goal difference. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Yeah, but Man City, 
Yeah, Man City, if they, listen, if they lose, they're four behind. Yeah, that is going to be extremely difficult. Yeah, and none of us play each other again. Yeah. Well. Lee, and none of us play each other again, isn't it? None of us, like... So it's going to be hard for you to recover. Today, man. We've all got to play Spurs and we've all got to play Villa. Yeah. And I think Spurs, got Spurs, play Spurs is a problem. Play Spurs, play. Spurs is a problem yeah, for you guys. Spurs is a problem Lee, for you Just say it. If we beat oh. City, you believe we're going to go on to win it, don't you? No, because I've... Listen, Nagao, I did this, this last season. I got sucked in with all this hype here. Right, for the first time since 2016 when Leicester won it. When Danny Welbeck scored against Leicester, I was in Tenerife. No, Lanzarote or Gran Canaria, wherever I was. Fiorentura, that was it. Yeah, and I was jumping up and down like a madman. We're going to win the league. We're going to win the league. Yeah, guess what? We did the double over Leicester and didn't win the league. Last season, we beat Man United. Eddie and Ketty were 88th minute. And I was like, yo, that's it. After seeing the Reese Nelson screamer as well, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm caught up, bruv. Yeah, I'm karma this season. I'm just going, yo, one game at a time. But if we do beat Man City... That's now a double over them in the league. Yeah. yeah. Then go and slap up Luton on Wednesday. Slap them. Humiliate them. Send them back to the championship, tail between legs, licking their wounds. Yeah. But then we've got Brighton away. And as much as I don't rate that guy down at Brighton, that is a tricky game. Yeah, that is a very tricky game. And that is right mm -hmm. before we play Bayern Munich. But now imagine we win that game as well. And then we go and do Bayern. Bruv, I swear down. We're then looking at it going, yo, one foot in the semi, still top of the league. And now there's only seven games to go. Yeah. It's hard to balance that because you it's haven't. It's so done hard that to balance that. But I want to. I want to show no. something real quick. But you I, know what? I, 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 no, can I, I answer, can I answer the? Can I answer Patrick's question real quick? Can I say one I, thing quickly, Lee? Wait, you get a bad guy. Right now, you're being a you're you're being a positive fan. As much we as go, 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 I want to share. I need to share go, something. I am, I am positive. Yeah, but people only see the negative because they see it as negative because I'm realistic. I don't get giddy. I don't get. Oh, bro, I'm 42 in June, bro. I've seen it all. Come on. Okay, right. okay, speaking of giddy, speaking of giddy, this is why, Igal, I need to share this. I promise you I, I, I was oh going to share this this season. This is why Lee tells you to relax, okay? I told you we we're going to revisit this <laughs> this tweet, okay? And I've been waiting for this day, Igal. And what okay. a time to have it, because you and Lee are here. This was Igal last season, before they bottled it. He said, if yeah, we don't win the him. league this season, I honestly him, believe yeah. we can get 100 points next season if we continue to improve at this wow. pace. Wow. This is why, Igal, people tell you to relax, to, to, to calm down a little bit. Like Eli sent the super chat here saying, Igal is the main Kool-Aid distributor for real. It's because of this, Igal. To say that you're going to finish on 100 points, bro, listen, that's brave. <laughs> that's really brave, bro. But like now you understand why people are saying relax. Because look at how the season is panning out to be versus last season. Last season and look was completely at the fans that have been on this panel, yeah? And look how <clears> humble <throat> and chill they are. And they've seen it all, bro. And it's not a dig at you, Agal, because I get you get happy. I, listen, bro, I've never met you yet, right? Mm -hmm. And I've always said, uh, people come to my chat and go, what about this guy? I'm like, yo, Agal's cool, bro. I don't agree with anything he says pretty much, but he's cool, yeah? But look how humble Man City fans are, and they've won it all. They're just like, yo, we're not going to get too big. They, they could be sitting there with chest, saying, yo, we're going to do a back-to-back -back treble. Yeah, F you, man, you're crap. We smash you every year. Just calm, bro. Just calm. Gal, though, you do go too far, Gal. You do go too far on Twitter. You've, like the, you know, you know the funniest one is the Madrid and Arsenal. Oh, I beg we get past Bayern, bro, because I'm spamming that all over every watch along, bro. We had them two games against Madrid. I'm spamming that everywhere. <laughs> Listen, the reality is, I'm. I, I think I'm quite them. fair with majority of my of my my combined elevens. That day, I just got, I really got triggered by that. Friggin... Awesome between Carvajal and Ben White, five Champions Leagues. No, 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 but to be fair, I still stand by that. Right now, if Madrid had Carver Howe, uh, if they had Ben White in certain games, they'd probably be better off. Bro, they've, they've lost two games all season in all comps. And that was both times. And Carver Howe has still been a stripper. What, bro, come on, man. This guy Boy, this guy scored clutch Boy, goals this season, man. He scored the other game before the international is he, is break. He, is he a goal. defender or is he a goal scorer? Which one is he supposed to be? He's both. He's elite, bro. Fair enough. Uh, I, I, I am not going to. I'm not going to die on the hill of Ben White. The the hill I'm going to die on is I think at least four to uh, I think five to six players for Arsenal. When at that time, based on the injury, based on the fact that I was not including injured players like the likes of uh, at the time Vinny was injured. At the time, uh, what do you call it? Um, Courtois injured. I wasn't including them. But hey. I, it made me look silly, and right now it looks bad because off the back of a couple of losses. Hey, if, and we smoke we, them, bro, if we smoke them, bro, it don't look so bad. We're in the final, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. my my whole thing, Lee, is I always find people try to cook me prematurely, 
and then uh, they look back at some of the takes that no, I've no, said. No, 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 you cook prematurely. No, That's no, no. I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> once again, I'm going to remind Lee. Lee, who's the first person who told you Arsenal has a potential title-winning defense? You did, to be fair. You said it, yeah, you did say it. And people laughed at me. And I brought up the fact that we we signed Ben White. We have Gabriel Magalhães. At the time, we had Kieran Tierney. We had Thaliba right, coming right. in. Mm -hmm. and, and, and our midfield was starting to get sorted out. And I was always saying, Mikel Arteta's fixing the defense forward. I might be premature with some of my takes, but I'll, I feel like half of my takes that I've said, they, they come true. No, that, that, that's time, true. You do, get, you do get cooked early, but everyone gets cooked early. Yeah. yeah. And when it, comes to, when it comes to 100 points, bro, we might not get 100 points this season. We, but that's the standard to try to beat teams' records, get 100 points, try to go and get a league title, try to get a league double. People always say, Ega, you have no standards. You want this team to just, you, you're accepting failure. If I'm putting out, out there that I believe this team can go and do record, record, uh, record things, call it delusional as you want. I want the best for my team. So you can try to banter me for it. But if my team gets anywhere near that level, no one's going to give me credit. Hey, you cooked me for my fake Unana take. And actually, he, apparently he has the best rating between all goalkeepers in the league this season. So, yeah, be, so maybe fair, I cooked Staffy, something. To be, to, be, to be fair, Staffy, I didn't clip you out of context. I kept the whole context in there. No, no, Staffy, not you. Who said it? Who said it? We're, but we're talking, talking about Hussam here. What, let's let's what, let's what, remember what's saying though. About. What they're saying though, Staffy? They say if you throw shit at the wall, something will stick. So yeah. you do throw shit at are the you, wall. Yeah. Are you saying he got those too much shit at the wall? Eventually, I think he does. Bro, I think he does. It's it, it's a little bit different when you speak about your club every single day, or every other day. Like you're gonna talk about a lot of things, and and you're constantly speaking about m many different topics. For there's a lot of things that we've gotten wrong and right, but yeah, the reality the chat, is we'll always throw question after question. You're gonna get look at look at look at how Lee got cooked for right, look at how Lee got cooked for making fun of Zinchenko when he was a darling at the club. Now everyone's making fun of Zinchenko. Nobody is apologizing to Lee. Yeah, hey, I think remember my Casemiro take Igal. Uh, no, 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 no. How much I got cooked for Casemiro Igal in the summer, and then yeah, eventually was, you posted and you were like, you were like, Staffy was right. Look at him now. They're all I trying think to people owe you an apology. And you know what? There's a lot of things that people say. They get cooked for it in the time. But just because you're cooking somebody in the moment doesn't mean you're right. Yeah, you're right. right so right now, context, context, context changes, people. I remember, I remember when we lost to Fulham and when we lost to West Ham, I said this title race is going to be the best title race in Premier League history. People said to me, you're going to be out of it in a couple of days. Noise it. Look at us now. We're still talking. Ego, about ego, ego. I, I get you, but sometimes I don't take you seriously because one time you and me were in your channel and you told me that Jesus is going to score more goals than Haaland. Remember? That's why I don't take you seriously. <laughs> okay, one second, one second. I you never did. said, I you never did. said Jesus was going to score more goals than Haaland. You did. You did. It's there. Show the video. Show, show the video. Show the video. If, you, if you can find you that. Ego, you apologize. You apologize if later you can on. You find said, oh, that, right. If you can find that, bro, if I ever said that sincerely, that was a dumb take. And Do you I remember you apologized. You apologized later on. You're like, Wait, oh, he I'm said sorry, Jesus I'll... would have more goals than Hannah. He said bro, Jesus I would don't... have more goals. One second. Hannah. I'm just going to make this clear. I don't recall saying this. Was that you, Ego, or someone? I don't else? recall saying this. But if, if, but if you if you can find the clip, I genuinely feel like an idiot if, if you do. But I don't believe I've ever said that. Genuinely, I don't remember that. And and, and stuff when he said he said so much chest. He said so much chest. No, no, that. bro. I don't remember that. I I, I remember I speaking look, about Darwin Nunes and Jesus, but I never ever remember speaking about Jesus and Holland. Like that's ridiculous. I just remember a lot of people saying that Jesus will come in and he'll he'll be a bagsman twenty to twenty five a season. I'm like he wasn't was, doing that was with the city team. That scores expecting... the most goals every year. So why would he? Wasn't, he, he also he also wasn't he also wasn't getting a ton of time. I was either. expecting eighteen goals from him, and not in the nah, league. Not, not Jesus, not Jesus. Trust me, not Jesus. Bro, it's all fair. Right, right. Premier League most goals is level with Lacazette, and we wanted to bin him. Yeah, it's time to bin him in the summer, bro. Real talk. I like him, but it's time to bin him. Yeah, he's you know, he's, you know, he's you know who doesn't get... since he's been here. He's not been the same since the first one when he came back in the running last year. Yeah, he's never recovered from from that surgery. He rushed him back. Can we talk about this though? Can you give Kai Havertz some credit? He's performing. Can I give him credit? Yeah, because I haven't, um, I haven't been on oh, a show. No. With people I know what Lee's going to say. Oh, he's our third, oh, hold no. up, hold up. Wait a minute. He's our third most expensive signing. He's our top earning player, and I'm supposed to give him credit for doing the bare minimum because he's got recency bias from March. Has his performance has not been warranted it, credit? No, his performances recently have had credit because I've given him credit, even without okay. his goals. 
I've even said, yo, he's actually played all right, you know. Yeah, however, yeah, if we'd actually brought a proper player in that position, yeah, in, in midfield, where he was played for how many games, we might actually be five, six, seven points clear. Have you thought about the fact that his versatility and the fact that his height and all the different things that he brings to the table? Bro, he's got height. He never wins a header that goes in the back of the net, bro. Look at, look how many times he's really puts it wide. Bro, he literally scored a game winner uh, with the header against Brentford. He scored two winners against Brentford this season. Yeah. So he's won us four points. I've rated. I've rated that. Yeah. But listen. Oh, no, but that was day, a header, no? I can't remember. To be, Maybe to, be to be fair, to be fair, Egal, it wasn't like he was clearing everybody. It was it was a header on the side of the net. It wasn't like he was no, out jumping. It was anymore. back post. But Kyle Saka passed it to him. Header. All I'm just saying is he's got he, one he header. Wow. Uh, what? One second. I one second. The one second. Bro. And on. Lee, Lee, aerial Lee, specialist. Lee, and the game at the Emirates. <laughs> Lee, and the game at the Emirates. We, we got we got one aerial specialist. I'm surprised Terry's title wasn't twenty nine. I'll say his name. I have to say Kishore Havertz. Yeah, lip like a salmon to scintillate Arsenal to the top of the tree. <laughs> yeah, gonna, bro, he's won us four if points Havers, this season with his if, winners, yeah, because we were getting one point in both of them Brentford games. He's won us four points, which has helped. He's played very well in some games this season. But let's not forget the shit shows that he had at the start of the season where we were playing poorly. Yeah, and it was, oh, but he'll grow into the team. Yeah, okay, cool. Maybe he is growing into the team. And if he scores the winning goal in the Champions League final, do you think I care, bro? Like, real talk, yeah? I will, oh. be, I will be absolutely loving it. I, I hope you're going crazy. Time, on the 65 weekend, M's plus 280 a week crazy. over five years is 132 million pounds, bro. Yeah? Is he worth that much money when we could you have got something? two other he players has, for that? He has to prove his worth. Thank you. So I'm giving him credit when he scores and he does well, or even if he doesn't score and plays well. Yeah, I give him credit. But again, people don't clip that up. They clip up the, oh, you don't say his name. Yeah, what? Or you ain't celebrating his goal. Yeah, cool. What about when I give him praise? To be, and say, fair, Lee, to be fair, while. I've been giving you credit on the stream. I've been mentioning no, you things do. that you've been You do, but the majority don't, bro. And I don't care whether I get credit for And it you want to know something? I don't even go at you too much anymore on Twitter. I, I feel like it's amicable between us. You, well, yeah, you guys are oddly becoming best friends. I don't know. This is not well, the <laughs> guy I'm used to. Where's nah, the fight, nah, Abby? Where's the fight? Savvy's changing the title. What you have to realize? Savvy changed the title of the video to. Lee versus Eagle debate, and they're like hugging at the yeah. end. And it, this well, is gonna you know what I, I wanted to do, DJ. You have to put big fights. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say that Lee, I wanted to put Lee versus Egal heated debate, and just put the red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But you guys got to understand that. Nah, what is there to it's, argue it's, about? It stopped these days, stuff. Yeah, I've noticed that. It stopped these days. It stopped. Oh well, I'm just happy that my team are doing what I've been crying for on, on the internet for years about. However, if he don't get over the line and he, he don't win anything, sack him. I've said that oh, all by, season. By the way, Lee, you you really still believe it would be uh, it would be a good idea to sack him if we don't win anything come the end of this season, especially with all the managerial changes happening across Europe and the fact that Klopp is leaving and we have basically what managerial changes. What you mean, Klopp's leaving? Klopp's leaving. You have the Jackie's situation leaving. with Bayern, where there's, anyway. there's a new manager situation over there at Bayern, Barcelona. Okay. I don't think it's a good idea to even think about getting rid of Arteta, let alone, I think we should be giving him a new contract, regardless of what happens. Because I believe this team is set up for the future, mm. and we have... See what you're have... doing, Igal. You're opening a can of worms. We were just supposed to do predictions. that Now you're opening a new can of worms, <laughs> talking yeah, about what is. happens if he bottles the season again. Uh, he'd, give, he'd, he'd, he'd reward him for no, failure. My, 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 point, is, my point is, regardless, more regardless, money. regardless, where we are right now in the Champions League, and where we are in the league, I think he's warranting to continue to keep his job with this team. But he bought a top shown, four, then he bought the league. He's shown, he's shown year on year adequate improvement for me. But can, can I tell you why, Igal, you're wrong? And I'll say this real quick. <laughs> I'm going to get You just it. said that City regressed. And a lot of us are surprised that Liverpool are even in the title race this season because I don't think they're as good as you and City this season in okay. terms of how they play football. With that being said, if you lose the league to one of them, which one of them you already said that they've regressed and the other one, yeah, you don't you. even rate to go all the way because you already said you think, you said you, you, the, the team you're worried the least about is Liverpool. If you just said that, how can you say, oh, Arteta deserves a contract next year That's when someone one. that you didn't favor to win the league is going to win the league? And you say okay, you're great this, this is why. Because, because the situation's changed, bro. The situation <laughs> has changed. Number one, 
Number one, you have you have a clear way of competing for the league next year again, once again, because Arsenal are in a good state. The team is still improving, and we're not a finished article. Number one. Number two, you ha you have a team in you have a team in Liverpool who are looking on the decline, and we're now taking that place as as the second or the or one of those main teams in competition year in year out. And number three, if Mikel Arteta was to leave, there is not a clear cut improvement out there for us to just go and take this team to another level yeah, with all the other he, with all the other clubs looking for managers with all the other clubs looking for managers i'm seeing liverpool's candidates for managers i'm seeing buyer buyer yeah, you said this every year ago you i'm seeing say this PSG's candidates for managers and it just doesn't make sense yeah let me tell you something Okay, okay. Igal, 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 oh, no 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 i got a question i haven't talked Especially in a while I'll, I'll, when I'll, you have the recruitment Igal, Igal, being done what, somewhere that's Igal, Igal, sorry Igal. sorry also, no, hold on, hold on. Otherwise, you're never gonna stop. Let's 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 just be real here. When is the end of the line? What is the end of the line for you? Yeah, what what's is the, it gonna take? That's, yeah, the threshold. Where, where, where does it end, Igor? What where is the end of the line for me? Yeah, for like it, what does what it, yeah. what does where do you the, draw the line, Igor? Where, where do you draw, draw the line? line? Yeah, thank you, Staffy. Where do you draw Some the line? Years before yes, no, before you say enough's okay. enough. So this is what I would say. I would give him this summer to finish up the rest of the squad. And next year, if we don't win, then he th then we can consider it. But personally, for me, Mikel Arteta, if he makes adequate improvement Definitely. and we win and we win either the league or the Champions League this year or next year, he keeps his job. Yeah, I but love you. Said, you, bro. you just I said you'd you, give him a new contract no matter what happens this year, but then you don't exactly. give him next year. So his contract ends next year. So why would you give him a new contract? Uh, Igal, I, 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 I Lee actually was going to say that. I think you give him a new contract is because of all the openings and potential job opportunities across Europe where he could maybe jump ship. You don't mm. want that. But why does it's it matter? Because he, you're saying if he doesn't win, he deserves to go anyways. This is what I'm trying to say. Igal. No, no. A year from now, Igal, you will make an excuse for Arteta to stay. This is how okay. loyal you are. You know, no, 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 because honestly, you will find the positives next season. I'm sure there's going to be positives. You know, no, 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 no. I don't think... Be like, based I don't on this, think, he deserves it. I don't think... I don't think cost, constant change actually wins you leagues. Well, it does. It's proven. I don't think, I don't think that is the way you win in the Premier League. I think... The, okay. Igal, here, the, the, problem, the, problem, the problem that I have with your argument, Egal, is that the, the, the clock, clock is ticking on mo on some of these players. Bakayo Saka, Saliba. No, it's not. They are eventually, eventually going to... If we don't start winning things, they start looking at clubs that are that are winning things. Yeah, he thinks That's they're going to wait. He thinks about. they're going to wait. Yeah, he thinks they're going to wait. They're not going to wait. I don't Egal. think that they're going to stick no, no, around. I really don't. I'm these sorry. Guys to new contracts recently. You're making it seem like they, they, they have one year left or two years left. Contracts on the don't matter. Right, doesn't mean anything if they don't want to play for the Clay club. And Declan Rice, were they not already signed to contracts? What? Where? They were signed to contracts, right? So the contract ain't yeah. worth the paper it's written on. It just means you can get a bit more money from. The fact and reality is TJ's spot on. Yeah? How many more years? And Bukayo Saka is what, 22, 23? Yeah. 22? Yeah. How many years yep. does Bukayo go? And listen, I hope we win stuff. I think all of us here, yeah, apart from apart from my my, my guy in the top right, yeah, yeah. We all, we, we all want Arsenal yeah. to win. We all want Arsenal to win. We all want our clubs to win. Yeah, but at the same Even time, Staff is on loan. When we've seen Van Persie leave, we've seen Nasri leave, we've seen all these other players leave. Seska that, yeah, Omri. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah, But we're not in that situation anymore, Lee. We've you shown that. We're not. Yeah, however, yeah. however, we're not in that situation in terms of we're going on a mad decline. However, when you're that close and that close and that close and that close, and you keep stopping, no, you don't get over the line. Eventually, it's frustrating. These players are going to go, "Yo, I need to go somewhere to get over the line." When you said about managerial changes, yeah. Three of the most successful clubs in the world in the last two decades have changed managers constantly. Chelsea, and you can forget Chelsea now. No, but Lee. Um, no, no, let me finish. Let me Look finish. At Look at you. Look at you right, right now. Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Wait well, one second. Real Madrid have had 17 managers in the last 20 years. Ten of them lasted less than 50 games. Wait. They're the most successful team in the world, bruv. Right? Man City are different. They've got Pep and so on. Right? But then you look at Chelsea. They fired Ancelotti in the tunnel, bruv, after doing a double. Yeah, the next season, right? They've had 16 or 17 managers Besides in the last 20. Bayern Munich have had 15. Had they keep winning. Why? Because they understand you have to keep freshening it up. Because otherwise, what happens is if you're not winning and you're keeping a manager for longevity, everything gets comfortable. Bro. Lee, you hit a plateau. One, one second. Sir. I just yeah, need to rebuttal. Lee, can you not freshen it up by changing your backroom staff? But what does yeah, that have to do with the manager? Winning, that has perfect. everything to do with the manager. Because if I'm not mistaken, Stephen Round left last year. 
we freshen it up. If yeah. I'm not mistaken, this year we've had Ilber Abbott has been linked to the Ajax job. He stayed and potentially in the summer he might be leaving to get a full-time position as a manager. So you can make changes without actually changing the head. That's what they did with Sir oh, Alex Ferguson. No, no, no I knew you were going to say that. I, got, I knew if you were going to mention Sir willing, Alex. It's irrelevant, isn't it? Do you know but what I'm saying? I, I just knew it, bro, and I was ready for him to say that. Sir Alex, the reason Sir Alex freshened it up in the back room and not him necessarily leaving, because number one, obviously he stayed uh, uh, throughout three different decades. So if you don't freshen th something up for three decades, no way you're going to succeed. It's like you're sitting on the same furniture for, for 10 years, and then 10 years later, you didn't change the couch. The couch is on the floor right now. It's probably ripped up and broken up and flattened because of how much you've been sitting on it. Here's the thing. Sir Alex changed it up so much because, number one, he had the pedigree, and, uh, and he built that club himself to the point that you can't potentially get anyone better than him at that time out there. He was smart enough to adapt with every every new era of football. That's why when he got the, what's his name, Carlos Queiroz or whatever, because he mm -hmm. wanted to start recruiting some Hispanic players and players from, from, from Spain or Portugal, whatever, which eventually led with to Ronaldo. It was him trying to adapt. Yo, I got to go. Arteta. My little kid woke up. All right, all right, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. What's your prediction before we go? Because I wanted to do predictions and then head out, anyways. I'm going two one. I changed my prediction. Uh, the whole week I've been going two now. The whole week I've been going two two. The whole week I've been going two two, but I'm changing it now because there's no way after everything that I've been saying all day, I'm just gonna go with a draw and sit on the fence. Oh, no. You mean after you've been gassing it all day, you have to go with a win now? Lee, I genuinely think this team can yeah. do it. It's just I'm I, I'm worried about I'm worried about those 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 uh the confidence they're gonna have at home. All right. Yep. Well, there you have it, guys. Okay. Big up, Miguel. I know you big got Miguel. So big up. Listen, we're gonna wrap up anyways because we've been here for a minute, and I know Patrick has to go too. So let me just get everyone's prediction, and then let's head out. Patrick, I know you gotta go too, bro. What is your prediction for the game? Uh, I don't know. For me, to be honest with you, because the fact that we are home and the fact that I'm looking at the team right now at the point in time of the season, I think we're going to rock them 3-1. I think we're going to rock them 3-1. They might even score first, but I think we're going to rock them 3-1. Thank God, Miguel left. Will. He would have been debating you right now. No, already, no, 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 no. Let me tell you why it won't be 3-1. No, no. He, he already... He already, he already, he already no, we're he already a different team three. now. This is a disgrace. We're miles better. We've got no Rob Holden in defence. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the thing is this. Look, I respect this Arsenal team. And you know what? I, I have said it with Gao and the other guy who was visiting us, Chiwan, and trying to throw us. I think this is your moment. If you beat this team, it will be a very good confidence boost. But I j I'm just looking at it that don't forget that even Man City want this. Because Igao kept on... Uh, Igao, uh, with the guy that in the other channel, uh, Igana and uh, TJ, there was a guy there saying... Oh, a data will go in the dressing room, will motivate the players like this. I was like, what do you think is doing? Is he sitting there smoking a cigar and just saying, guys, just go play football? I'm just saying this is going to be an intense game and I see a 3 1 for City and I have to back my team, you know, because we are home. And no, also because no, we've got you. quality on the pitch. We've got quality on the pitch. Okay. I hear you. I don't think it's going to be 3 1 for anyone. I think you're talking about Dayo. There's so many 3 1s being thrown around. I don't know why. It's not I'm like just, the last two games I had that. I'm many just throwing that 3 1 back. I'm throwing that. Bro, the last back. game had one goal. The one in the Community Shield was 0 0 until extra time. 1 1. Oh, that two was deflected a goals. I think that was a match. Yeah, that was yeah but boring. both games have been close, and I think it's going to be close again. Uh, TJ, yeah. what's your predictions? Um, 2 1, Arsenal. I think, we, I think we can get it done, but we have to play perfect football. Um, we've shown we've shown that we're capable of doing it. We've shown that we can can go at these guys and hold them. There's not going to be more than three goals in this match. Like I hate to play spoiler alert for you guys. It's not. It's it's going to be. There are going to be ports of this match where it's going to be stinky. But um, I I think we can get it over the line. I'm I'm going two one. I'm going. I'm I'm putting my neck on the line for this one. Two one. Who scores? Who scores? Sky Harvest? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, it's not going to be uh, Trossard. Yeah, and, um, in order for us to win this, though, by the way, guys, and I haven't I didn't make this and I'm not going to make this a big thing. But if Odegaard doesn't show up, we will lose like that's Odegaard cannot ghost from this game. He needs to show up. I'll be counting how, exactly count how many times he so, does so, this. I will count. So, I'll definitely count like, how many here. Hair yeah, he does. I'll so those. yeah, hair, hair flicks, nose flicks, um, singing North London is forever. I don't give a shit. He needs <laughs> he needs to show up. And he needs to and he needs to score. So it's gonna be Odegaard and it's gonna be Trossard if we score. So I'll yeah, two one Arsenal. All right. And Lee, I already know your prediction from the show we did two days ago. Make sure you guys check it out if you haven't yet. What uh, did he say? I didn't watch that one. Well, what, what, what that's what I'm gonna have him say. Oh, again. 
<laughs> one. I think we'll score first. Oh. I think it's going to be boring. It's going to it's going to be a walking football match. Yeah, Man City play walking football. Oh. I think that we're going to go there and we're going to do what we did against them at the um, Emirates. We're, it's just going to be stinky, bro. Especially if Liverpool win. Yeah, that's which we'll the, both that's know. That's beforehand, true. we know yeah. the result in it, and even in fact, no matter what the result is, because if they lose, then we're definitely not going to go and go gung ho at each other. Yeah, even though we could nick it and go clear. Yeah, but no matter what that result is at Anfield, yeah, this is going to be a stinky, horrible football match. Yeah, I think yeah, that's what people people expect. Every time you <laughs> expect a very good match, even the time with Liverpool, it used to become a stinky match. You used to see and say, "When are we going to get this finished yet?" But we'll see anyway. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe quality is what's going to win this game. Who like who steps up as a player? So we'll see anyway. If it's stinky, we're still going to watch this game. Who's got the most? Um, who, who's the most brave? Like, if it's nil nil with ten to go, do we? Does somebody step up and say who has go. match winners? Exactly. That's yeah, that's yeah. gonna come the down to who has match winners or, 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 or who or who makes the first mistake, too. Very true, very true. Yeah, that's true, yeah, that's and, true. But again, we do TJ, we've got the best defense, we've got the best attack. Yeah. All however, they've got more match winners. Yep. Yeah, they can they can score a Rodri screamer from out of nothing. Yeah, Foden can jink past a couple, but then Saka Lee, we've seen that against left. Porto when you needed match winners and you didn't have enough match winners in that the away Porto game. You know, the, away, the away Porto, like, the away Porto yeah. game is if we get into that situation against Man City, we're not winning. Like uh, we we don't have we don't have the personnel to come out there and get it done. We couldn't get it done against Porto. You we're both play similar team. styles of football where it's a bit robotic. Where yeah. when there's a stalemate, someone needs to rise. And I do agree yep. with Lee. They TJ, have more match wins. Think, CJ, let me ask you this. Sorry, Stuffy. Yeah. No, do no, do no, you no. think do you think City are play like Porto though with that like, mid to low? Block? Absolutely, absolutely not. No. So do you think that we've got more chance to beat City than we because we created nothing in that first leg against Porto and lost, and we only had four shots on target in like 210 minutes against Porto. Yeah, Yeah, they were they were they were they were playing they were playing in their in their in their half of the field for most of the match, and then they got that screamer at the end at home. Or are you talking about the away match? Both over the two legs. They they were like, we had four shots on target. They were they were playing. They were. They were playing. I mean, sorry to interrupt you. They were, they were, they were playing. They were playing at the Emirates to, to, to stink it out. That was how, yeah, that was how, how they, they were playing. So, they so yeah. And, I mean, and the fact, the fact, and they were playing for Pence the entire game too. So oh, hundred percent. Yeah. But I don't think, I don't think that I, I, I don't think Man City play that way. I think they're going to play higher. They're yeah, going to be more I was, confident against us. I, was saying, like, I, they're not, I thought we kept you down too. Is that we kept your shots down too, didn't we? Uh, then yeah. we also well, then, yeah, the, the, we the, only had, the Emirates, we only had Emirates two, game and you only had one on target. We yeah, had three yeah, shots. Yeah. So, so it is going to be a stinky So game. it's gonna be it's a gonna stinker. Be stinky, we all agree on that. It's gonna be a stinker. Yeah. But there's too there much riding on this, yeah. Because if either team loses, it's a psychological damage, bro. It is, it is. Yeah? It is. Yep. So yep. this is why it's got draw written all over it. Yeah, I think we'll score first. Yeah, because I think you'll dominate the, the ball. Yeah, and we're just gonna go with like yo, we're just gonna sit back, we're gonna compress the 18 yard box. Yeah, if one's got, I think, Jorginho Rice to play, and we'll yep. just sit in there. But then, bro, I just hope Martinelli's fit. Yeah, because that is the one. You need him. Team. You yeah. need him. He's the I said one electric way. pace in our team that Andy can dribble. Yeah, he needs to get his head up more, but he can yep. create something out of nothing in terms of bang, madness. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. Listen, De Bruyne's not been looking good recently. Yeah, Haaland's not getting any touches of the ball, dropping stinker. He missed a penalty for uh, for Norway the other day. Yeah, um, but listen, for me, I'm not a gambler. I'm not Sandro Tonali. Yeah, but if <laughs> I was to put money on it, I'm going 1-1, one, one, bro. Yeah, all right. That's, that, that's probably the fairest um, prediction so, right I, there. I hope we win, though. I hope we win. Please <laughs> Listen, win. I want Come you guys on, to win, need this. Big up Andrew, sorry TJ covering you with that. Go for it, bro. Chat. But big up Andrew Wright saying how he's a guy saying Liverpool on the way down when we lost only two games all season. There is no difference between the three teams at all. We had one loss in 33 games. That's what I was trying to tell him. I think Lee was get, grabbing a beer at that time. I was like, yeah, how could you say you fear Liverpool the least? City have downgraded, but then he's saying if we lose the league, he still deserves another contract. You yeah. just said you're better than them two, but if he loses the league. Which it's the two teams that you rate less than you. He deserves a contract. It doesn't make you see, sense. That's, that's that's how I was telling him that sometimes it's hard for me to take him seriously because he just. He just I I feel like he just speaks a lot out of emotion, and sometimes he doesn't notice that his takes get carried out, away, man. Might contradict yeah. themselves. But because he's a real man, listen, listen, he, he's very very emotional. Yeah, 
right? But he means well, isn't it? Which is why I don't go with him anymore. Yeah, I've, I've been there, done that. You know what I mean? Like, he's he's a nice a nice guy. He's just mad deluded. <laughs> Lee, you made you Lee, you made a whole stream about him once. It it, it showed up on and my. Then he joined. Uh, that was the best YouTube. thing ever. Uh, that was funny. That was funny. I sat at home and that day I was sick. Like I was very sick, so I just sat at home. Debate. Igal joins out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Igal <laughs> <laughs> oh, crashes it on Lee. Big up Marco L, my Egyptian brother, saying big up boys. They're asking you, Staffy, that what's your prediction, Staffy? That's what they're asking in the comments. Oh, I'll give my prediction in a second. And uh, big up for the other super chat, Marco, saying, I really hope Arsenal smash his city tomorrow. Marco is a United fan, so uh, he just Sunday. doesn't want to see. Oh, yeah, what today's Saturday already. Or or I think he's in Saturday because he's in Egypt. I'm the one who's still on Friday. Uh, but my prediction, my prediction. I think most of the world are boot, uh, rooting for Arsenal, by the way. Yeah, 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 I was gonna say that. Well. Everyone yeah, hates City, bro. I don't even know why. Yeah, no. like, why I do don't hate, hate City. It? I just don't want them to get four. Because if they get a four P, I'm probably not gonna live to the time that United do a five, a five, uh, a five P. Like it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, like I look the three. Like treble, then what? You have to delete the channel, bro. Control alt delete. <laughs> bro, they do a four P, win a treble, and then I get Southgate. There's no more stuffy TV. Bro, yeah, There's no, no, no you're done. No, it's over. It was good. It was good working with you. you bro, know? I'll sell my channel. Listen, hopefully it's at good subs at that time so I can put it for a good price. <laughs> I just make a buck off it. But there's not no more content for me to do. What was the well, I'll sell it to Patrick you know, at this point. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll buy it just for the sake of it. I'll buy it for the sake of it that because we've done four pit and the treble just to buy it and keep it there. And just I'll sell it to you. Patrick's gonna have he's, he's gonna rename it Patrick Clips, something like that. He just starts putting clips of Egal on it. It'll generate some some money for Heated him. Debate. <laughs> Heated oh, debate. Funny. Egal crashes on Lee. Big fight. <laughs> Arsenal was uh, Arsenal was scintillating and scary and unstoppable. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this before we go. What's the what, prediction for the terrace um title on Sunday if oh, Arsenal gosh. win? That's a good one. Let's do predictions with that. Lee, you go first because he usually get those spot on. <laughs> hey, he changed his title the other day. Yeah, he changed his title the other day because I commented. I can't remember what the title was. It was like something to do with hate, but he was like, anyway, forget it. I can't remember. Yeah, but he changed the title. But if we if we lose, Arsenal were robbed by VAR. Yeah, <laughs> right. Or if we lose without a VAR decision, it'll be. It'll be Arsenal. Arsenal are still scary. <laughs> yeah, Arsenal are still scary. Let me take a look at that. Bro, I do it every time. On the end of a stream, I always go, yo, predict Lewis title. Yeah, most of the times, he changes it three times while he's live. He's hilarious, man. <laughs> so what if you win? If we win, yeah, if we win, Arsenal win at the Etihad like champions. <laughs> No, I swear I can't wait for that. That's gonna be, like, you know, TJ in the Super Bowl when they do predictions on what the Gatorade color is gonna be and all that stuff. That's when we, <laughs> they need to start adding that. They need to start that Facts. You know, apps. Facts. No, no, it <laughs> has. They have title. to have a. They have to be an option. 50, 50 to one of the use of the word champion in. Bro, in like the you comments. gotta predict certain Smash words. Smash at yeah. twenty to one. Smash and caps. You know. Smash, Smash and caps and yeah. Smash Arsenal. Humble city. <laughs> Champion, there's a, guaranteed, there's a good one in the comments. Guaranteed. This Arsenal unstoppable. Yeah, that's that, that's one. Title, of them, yeah, no, no. Title Wait, guaranteed. Uh, wait, big, last, big, big up, Terry. Terry, let me on your channel. Anyway, go ahead. My my last uh, video I put out before I jumped on here. Yeah, my last video. Right? The title: Arsenal are clear, scary, scintillating, unstoppable, world class, and champions. <laughs> He just put all the buzzwords in it. You know, all the keywords, in all the keywords that you want. Just put it in there. <laughs> With loads of emojis after every word. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know what I used to do? When I used alert, to alerts, alerts, emojis, yeah. DJ, when I used to apply for jobs after college, I would literally put the keywords that are in the po uh, in the job ad on my uh, on my resume. So when they look up their resumes for the certain keywords, they can find it. That's what Dude, Lee that's just did. Do it. Oh, yeah. champion, scary, and blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. You got to put champion, all that stuff in scary, the Scary, but somehow you sneak rant into it as well. So you got to sneak rant into it. And then he's gonna be Do you good. see that one? It says yeah, we must win. They're gonna say passion Mbappe passion. to Arsenal are done. Mbappe to Arsenal are done. <laughs> <laughs> like, mate, the amount, the amount of the amount of players we're signing in the summer because Flowers told us, bro. We're 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 gonna, we're gonna do the quad. We're gonna be the first team to sweep up, bro. Can't wait. The Can't wait. scintillating coming, champions, unstoppable. Win. We will be there. 
<laughs> all right, guys. All right, we're gonna wrap up here. We had too much fun, but listen, big up to everyone. Big up Patrick. Give us your, give us your prediction, man. Yeah, I said two one, two one Arsenal. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah, I think you guys will win. I think it's two one. Um, I think you guys will hit him on the counter and, and score. It's gonna be one one. I, I actually have a similar prediction to Lee. You're gonna score first. They're gonna tie it up. Go into second half. You guys will probably snatch it late. I believe because um, they're gonna be at home. They won't sit back at home. Especially, I think if we're gonna. Much. They're gonna come. I think we're gonna there. score. I think we're. I think we score twice, and then we they score in the 80th minute, and then we have to sweat. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we'll see. As long as you guys win, I don't want to see if DJ. If Zinchenko plays, oh my days! No, 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 no! I don't want to see him anywhere near the pitch. No, no, uh, uh, no. He plays then. Then then. we've already we've already we've already seen the buddy cop movie that uh, Zinchenko shoots with the freaking Man City team every single time. I don't need to see it. (laughs) I don't need to see it. Anyways, big up Patrick, big up Lee, obviously for jumping on midway through the show. Big up TJ as always. And uh, who was here earlier? Egal, obviously Egal had to go. He had daddy duties. His son woke up. And big up Vader as well. And big up to everyone who's still watching us. There's still 250 people here watching us. Make sure you guys all leave a like on the video if you haven't yet. And if you're watching us on the replay, let us know in the predictions in the comments. Let us know what you think about everything Egal pretty much said today because he left us with a lot of good points. I can't even tell you which one to comment on. And, uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm redirecting to my watch along for tomorrow. I am... Doing a watch along. Yes, United do play football still, even though I've been covering a lot of title race content. But we do have a game of football tomorrow. I do get to watch Mason Mount football. MM7, no David Beckham. That's going to be my title for tomorrow. I so, watch when he dunks on Chelsea on, on, on Tuesday, bro. I would love that one. That one I would love because I want to dunk on these Chelsea fans. But I'm going to redirect you guys to my watch along tomorrow. Make sure you guys leave a like and set your reminders. The game is actually at 4 p.m. my time. I've never been so blessed to watch a late game. Usually I watch so much earlier. The fact that it's 4 p.m., I'm bro, life is complete. Life is complete. But make sure, as I said, leave a like on the video and set your reminders so you guys can get notified when I'm live tomorrow. And check out all these guys' channels is in the description. Uh, and, you know, go show them some love. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you again. Ten no, Didi. No, I, got, I didn't hit, I didn't hit and stream yet. I didn't hit and stream yet. <laughs> you know what? Just because you did that, I haven't played this clip for a while. You know what? Where is the clip? We're going to wrap it up on this clip. Where is it? Did I delete it? No, no way. Oh, there it is.